oh, oh, oh god, how do I spell aware again? O-W-A-E-Y-R. Guys, I'm throwing it. Hello, dear friend. Welcome back. The Rift Seekers enter the back alley city of Ditch. They have been employed by Straz Yink, the lord of the city, to retrieve a specially designed tank that holds the light of aware. Upon activation, these tanks can explode, causing extreme devastation in a large area. The Sinners of Absolution have stolen one of these tanks and Straz fears that if it is not retrieved, everything he has worked for will come crumbling down. Where we begin today, Odo opens the two very large doors of Straz Yank's manor and opens up into Ditch. For those of you who have never seen this place, um, Ditch kind of like Lothmanger is in a crater. It is um, inside like a large, um, I guess you would call it like a canyon or a crevasse, very large though. Um, this is very much, if you've seen Arcane or know of anything about League of Legends, uh, it is very much inspired and looks a lot like Zaun is how I see it. Um, so, the capital of Ditch, nestled yes. in this um, large canyon. You can see the rocky cliff walls of the canyons, the very far edges of it. Um, it does open up on the eastern and western end that kind of like gradually rises to like surface level. Um, you guys though, um, let me pull up my map so I know what I'm seeing. Um, surrounding you, um, this place, um, because I'm kind of terrible at describing things, if you think of what old London would look like in terms of, like, grim... How old um, is old? Uy. Are we talking... Like, the plague! Like, um, yeah, yeah, I want to I say, like, Victorian style, almost. Okay. Jack Griffin. Um, yes, 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 yes. Jack Griffin. <laughs> Victorian. Oh, yes. mm, yeah. Victorian era. This immediate area looks like that. Um, it's very gray, dark, neutral colors um, all over all the houses. It's not colorful like Lothmanger. It is the opposite. It is grim, dank, um, immediately like a smell like wafts over you. It's not pleasant. This whole city kind of smells like trash. To most. <laughs> To, to others, it smells like home. Um, you should invest in sewage. There is sewage on the streets. Great. Cool. <laughs> That's the problem. It just kind of goes. Mm -hmm. No. So, um. As you guys exit the manor and begin walking, uh, Odo leading you. Um, I guess you won't need a perception check for this. You would notice everyone around you, um, there are only like a few people scattered about here and there walking through the streets. Everyone you see though is wearing the most almost like disgustingly noble, posh clothing you've ever seen. Again, it's not bright colors, but it just looks over the top fancy to where you might almost think these people are a part of some sort of like theater. It is that over the top. These people want to look fancy and want you to know that they are. Not only that, but it's really like uncanny and almost disturbing. All of their faces are just smothered with an incredible over the top amount of makeup. We're talking, talking like white powdered faces, um, drawn on eyebrows, lots of like blush, really red lipstick. It is just 
over the top goofy looking amount of makeup. Is it well put on or is it like yes. cakey? No, it is like well put on, but it's just, there's so much. It's like gnarly ass stage makeup. Yeah. It's very, it's making me think of like, uh, Commedia del Arte stuff in theater. Someone out there, <laughs> Commedia del Arte. Mm. So, as you're like walking through, people would like look at you in disdain and disgust. They just look at you and just like, oh, and like stick their nose up and just like walk by. Very prissy, very sassy people. Go powder your nose, bitch. <gasps> <laughs> yeah, they use such words. That was a good one, actually. <laughs> um, at some point, as you guys are walking through, um, a stra- an oddly proportionate man walks up to you. He's got very skinny legs, but like a very robust like belly and torso, um, kind of like an weirdly oval head, skinny arms. He's wearing um, nice like black slacks, very pointed black shoes. He's got um, like a black cane with like a silver orb on top, uh, wearing like a really nice like black jacket with long tail coats. Again, that powdered face, um, big eyes, uh, blush red cheeks, and drawn on eyebrows. Um, he's got a big top hat and he's got like greasy black hair kind of like going like down his face and he just like stops and you can see there are like a group of people like behind him as well. Not so much like a mob, but like a clique of people and he just kind of like walks in front of in, like the path that you're going and just stops and like looks down upon you with his like head <laughs> up, his nose up in the air and just... Which an odd bunch of people. <clears throat> hey, might I ask what you are doing here? You just uh, don't quite fit the uh, picture of this town. Like, is he just a fancy fuck, or have yep. I encountered this man before? You. Like, is he someone of note, or is he just a fancy bitch? Because everybody's like pretentious and shitty. You can roll a history check with advantage if you'd like to. Eat to eat check. <laughs> Unnatural 20. <laughs> that went from <laughs> to <laughs> really fast. <laughs> the description reminded me of the mice circus guy from Coraline. Ah, that's yeah. like immediately what he reminded me of. Very scrawny, long legs, and then the robust torso. I was like, <gasps> the little mice dancing around. Oh my God, that's a good movie. You would know this man. Oh shit. Because he is, he's a bit older, I guess. A little, little past middle-aged man. Um, his name is Nebel Hausenhoff. Ne- Nebel? Nebel. 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 Hausenhoff. Hausenhoff. Actually, Huff. him. Hausenhoff. Hausenhoff. Huff. 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 Huff or puff? Huff. H-U-F-F. <laughs> the wolf goes huff puff. I wrote Bobinski looking man. Nebelhausen <laughs> <laughs> Huff. You would know that this man owns a lot of the masonry um, businesses or stores in Ditch. You would actually know that he um, designed the towers um, in the lower bowels, mm-hmm. which act as not really a transportation sh- system, but a advanced way to get across the lower bowels and down into the lower bowels. Um, you know that the lower bowels is basically the um, underground, underground of ditch. Mm-hmm. Um, it is the lower part of it. Mm-hmm. Um, 
So like this ditch is in a canyon, lower bowels kind of goes down even further into the, not really under dark, but farther under dark. Oh, wow. Yep. And there are towers placed strategically around the lower bowels and there are uh, bridges connected to them, but these towers also allow you to go down further into the lower bowels, so. Not, so, yeah. mm. not related to question. You just said something. Is there an Underdark? In, in the world? world? Yeah. Yes. Neat. That's all. Yeah. Ah. We yeah. haven't gone there yet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I sure hope not without knowing. <laughs> like, we've all been there and no one knows. <laughs> what the fuck? That's what the ruins were. <laughs> that was the Underdark. The that was the entire session, thing. Session, what, fucking two, three? What a time, Bobby. Okay. So what the fuck did he say? Like, so he s- basically stands in your way with a little click of people uh, behind him, and they all dress similar, t- similar to him and are all around the same age as well. Um, so like, again, this is little, like his little posse, his little clique that he has with him. And so he stands in front of you again with like his staff, um, basically just saying like, who are you? Why are you here? You don't look like us. He basically says, you don't fit the picture of this town. <laughs> Thank God. Yeah. <laughs> As if I wanted to. <sighs> Jesus. Uh, business. <laughs> you don't sound like you on business for Mr. Yank himself. Woof. <laughs> All of them start like, like chuckling or chorting like. <laughs> I just bark at him. I give him a little. <laughs> 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 mm-hmm. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> it, I'm sending a message. I don't know if it's gonna work. <laughs> roll persuasion for me. <laughs> I'm trying to be like dogs, dogs, rough, Stras business, rough, rough. <laughs> you roll for persuasion, sure. All out. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Why, Why did you real dog? <laughs> 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 Gangs on here. Um, what is no in German? Nine. Uh, he just looks at you, confused, <laughs> and looks to like the rest of you for any sort of other answer. I just move easy up the uh, That would be Mr. Yank's dog. No, no, it can't. be. B. The one I know would be, um, what is it, he had, um, pink hair, I believe. Yeah. He didn't look like that. He's too scrawny. I needed a change. You're telling me. You're telling me. You. And he starts, like, walking closer. And how tall are you again? Uh, <laughs> You're, like, five, five, I'm, right? Yeah. Five, five. I'm five, five. I'm just, like, standing behind. Five, five. I'm off to the side. With a looming shadow. <laughs> are you trying to be intimidating? Or are you just, are you just standing? When I need to be intimidating, I will. So no. Okay, so no. It's just my shadow uh, right not, now. Not right now. He walks up and he's maybe like six feet tall, so he's a little taller than you. I mimic his head thing. Mm-hmm. And he like walks up and just kind of like looms over and like leans and like looks you dead in the eyes. He takes a step back. He takes another step back slowly. I was worried they were gonna kiss me or something. Fuck. I Ooh. dare say. Quite a change in demeanor. See, <laughs> I don't know if the rest of you know, but if this truly is the one that we all call the ditch digger, mm-hmm. well. I don't think any of you would be alive. I'll start digging your ditch. They're not. Is that supposed to be a threat, Mr. Uh, 
He might be joking, but I'm not. I think that was also his attempt at the joke. I see. Hey, uh, <laughs> Do you look up at me? <laughs> interesting crowd of people. Well, you have a pleasant day. I hope whatever business you're working with, Straz, hopes is um, lucrative. Eloquent as always, Nibble. You know me, I guess. And he turns around and begins to like walk off, and the rest of his clique kind of like eyeball all of you and just turn around and leave. Well, just is that a couple of them? <laughs> they all just start like murmuring to themselves. <laughs> a little moderation with the makeup. Yeah, that was disgusting. I could smell it. Mm. I was like, at least you look good without makeup, so. With and without, I would say. Exactly. Okay, now that the puffers are gone. Odo glad see. Odo glad not see well. Don't like. Is everyone in ditch like this? Or just this little bucket? (laughs) No. Uh, There's worse. There's more tolerable. There's worse. There's annoying, there's stinky. There's worse. And where do you lie on this worse. spectrum? At this point, stinky. Well, yeah. But like know. worse and stinky. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you could be worse stinky. or stinky makes sense. Mm-hmm. I mean, you could be stinky and wearing clown makeup. So. That Not is true. true. You're, Thank you. you're cut above the rest. Oh, anyway, can we continue on to our destination? Yes, please. Oh, oh, don't keep going. Thank you, Odo. <laughs> Every step he takes, you just hear. Yeah. Um. So again, as you keep going through this part of ditch, um, you would also notice that there is a like wall constructed around this district of ditch and this entire place looks scarily all patterned the same if that makes sense in terms of like the way the houses are built the way the streets are made it's all constructed almost exactly the same hokey cover yes California. <laughs> sure. <laughs> the same houses everywhere. And, and all sure these people, not. again, same style of clothing, same makeup, and they all act weirdly the same, where they all have their nose in the air, they all try to look down upon you, and whenever they like cross paths, they act like you are wild animals. Like if you're walking, you would at some point see like a mother and her child like walking along, and as you guys like come into view, they like look at you all and go, "Ah," and like her, um, the mom like ushers her child like off the streets, like a nearby house. (laughs) and like cower in the corner like away from you guys like they are they they view you as beasts animals not like them i'm starting to understand a lot of what occurred to you and it's been five minutes i hate this place this is just one spot from your own words it's worse worse (laughs) worse (laughs) annoying and stinky yeah (laughs) (laughs) yeah um yeah uh, this is, is this is this the center? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yes. I had the feeling, but I wanted to blow the play. So, um, Odo would continue uh, leading you down the main path until you would come across um, a large tower, um, and there are doors or like a port. Eh, it would be like a large like double door um, that would open up and lead you into the greater part of ditch. After you exit the tower, immediately everything changes. You are no longer in this cookie cutter, London, almost suburban type area. You are in the capital known as Ditch. The street alley of all cities in Anamnesis. This is the back alley, garbage ridden city of Ditch. Um, 
as you kind of like look around, this place is very dim. It is dark. It is gloomy. Um, there, the streets in front of you are like cobblestone, but they're not well put together like the center of ditch is. It is ridden with puddles, holes. Uh, a lot of the stones look like different colors. There are like trash everywhere, um, broken pieces of like wood or like brass, copper, metal, kind of uh, strewn about the ground. Um, all the houses as well, as you like continue walking, you would see some look decent, but most of them kind of look makeshift or abandoned, really run down or ramshackle. Um, a lot of seedy folk around here too. Um, around the center of ditch, you would kind of notice that it, it, it's very much like the slums. Um, there are people wearing like tattered cloaks and very simple clothing, tattered shirts, tattered pants, um, shoes where like the um, front end of them are like ripped open so you can see like their toes. Um, it is just, it, it, all of it, nasty. It's gross. Um, still, you are getting like some people looking at you, but the majority of people don't mind you, but more so like they keep their head down and they do not want you to perceive them or to acknowledge that they are there. Um, some people will be walking around with like their hoods up, um, cloaks around them. Uh, it is just a very seedy place. Um, again, the complete opposite of Lothmanger. Odo would continue uh, to lead you through the streets until you would come upon a larger building. Uh, it would be kind of made of either like metal, stone, and wood, like a combination of it all. Um, it's very, it's like a block almost. It's not supposed to be decorative or ornamental. This is purely a rectangle building with a flat roof and it's just supposed to be like a facility used for working. Um, Odo would go to the door, he unlocks it. It's like an like an iron door, it swings open. And as you enter, um, lit by like candles here and there, um, and like a couple chandeliers, a few um, wall sconces, um, this facility, mimics the one you were in so long ago when you had to guard that large tank of energy. Um, there are pipes, steel or copper pipes or brass pipes, winding all above you, lining the walls, pipes everywhere. As you enter, you can hear the occasional like tss, tss, tss of steam. Um, you hear the like resting of metal, like it creaking and moaning every once in a while. At the very center of this uh, chamber or room, uh, you would see a large open face like pod or tank. Um, there are pipes that are like open, but seem to have once connected to something um, that is no longer there. Um, so Odo leads you into this room and let me get back to where I was. There we go. Okay, so he leads you in. That was fucking good. This is where a tank was stolen. Odo was only told to lead you here. Odo, go. He turns around. And Bye, Odo. Thanks, Odo. Bye, Bye buddy. Oh. See you later. Odo, see you soon, maybe. Okay. Thanks, buddy. Odo, hungry. <laughs> Reasonable. <laughs> okay. So, um. Well. Well, we found the missing tank. I mean, where it was. 
Rather. Let's go take a look. Yeah. <clears throat> I'd like to go approach the big center of that. Sure. Um, you can go ahead and make an investigation check. Yes. I would like to search outside for traps. Outside? Yeah. Okay, you can go ahead and make a survival check. Don't oh, let me down. Oh, buddy. Oh, I thought you already rolled. No. Don't worry, I'll let me down. Oh, no. I nine. also let you down. Oh, no. I don't have intelligence. I do also want to take a look around. Okay. I want to check the tank as well. Okay. Um, I the leg. So as you <laughs> would inside. approach the tank, you would notice that there wasn't a scuffle here, but you notice a lot of um, dirty boot prints around here um, where there was quite a few people around. Um, you do see some like screws on the ground um, where like the pipes kind of open up or end at inside the open larger tank. Um, that's really all you see with that with that check. Yeah. Um, what did you roll, Ornan? That's a, that's a six overall. Yeah. A six, it's a bit harder to find footprints outside. It might be because it had just rained the previous day. So yeah. it might have washed away some of the footprints. So it's a bit harder to see anything outside. It'd be like a quick scan and then come back inside being like, ah, I just not really know where they are here. Understood. Make his way inside. Okay. You're also looking at the tank? Yeah, I'll take a look at the tank. Okay, then I'll just look in the general vicinity of the warehouse, I guess. Yeah. Sure. Um, so you can make an investigation check. Do better. 18. Hey! Yeah, bitch. As you are looking around this larger tank, you would find a small screwdriver on the floor near the tank. Somehow this tool was used to get the smaller energy tank out. Um, if you want to, as you pick up the screwdriver, you feel... Um, a magical aura coming off it. So if you want to roll an arcane Ooh. check, you can. Yeah. Arcana check, sir? Please. Uh, Arcana. R16. <laughs> A or 16? Yeah. That means it's like a, 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 a call mode and get you. I cast gun! <laughs> 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 Ooh, that's a good one. If Discord would open. It's not a no. screwdriver. <laughs> I mean, you're not far <laughs> off. Not a okay. screwdriver. <laughs> I have a sport that's a sonic screwdriver. We gain the memories of the screwdriver. That's so cool. <laughs> what was it? We gain the memories of the screwdriver. Yes, sir. <laughs> First person. Screwdriver. It's just someone's like hit fingerprints. Did you say check my DMs? Is that what you said? Huh? No, I get it. Huh? Did you say? I thought you said check your DMs. No, what did you I don't think anyone you? said that. I, what did you, what did I you definitely say heard check my check your DMs. I heard that because you looked at me and I thought you said check your DMs, and I'm like, okay. Huh? What did you say? Oh, said, <laughs> did you? Did you say oh, checkmate DM? No, because no. <laughs> we're talking about picking up the screwdriver and like accessing his memories. It was all we had said. Am I going insane? Me too. What the fuck? I think earlier oh, when we were talking about guns, I said checkmate DM. Okay, that's, that's what it was. That's what it was. Wow. I, okay. I thought you said check your DMs. And I go, that's oh, also okay. what I heard. Yeah. Now, okay. okay. That's what I'm like, okay. And then I was opening up Discord and I don't see anything. I'm like, hello? Hello? <laughs> oh, no. Okay, so, hello? With a, hello? Hello? Okay, with a 16. Um, so this Shush. is not a normal screwdriver. Uh -huh. It is brimming with arcane energy. This appears to be magical in nature, but you're not sure how it works. You okay? I'm just trying to choke on fries. Oh! Give me a moment. <laughs> you're not the high look. I do. So, I'm not that dead. Fuck. <laughs> I need to practice. I'll be Interesting. Koi. <laughs> hey, uh. What the fire? Something funky with the screwdriver. Shit. Oh. It, I'm just 
magic emanating from it. I'm good with uh, leather. Not entirely sure how it works. Not me. From far away in the warehouse. Outside but maybe of... don't fuck with it! Hey, it could be useful. You wanna fuck with it then? Outside I'm of the looking elsewhere. Uses. I'm also looking elsewhere. I don't know, Vision. Hold on. Search warehouse. I am Thunk. Okay, go ahead and make an investigation check. I'm very shittily checking the outside. <laughs> I have an ID. Uh, 17. Because I forgot that it was a spell again. Okay, so. Look at the object. With no. a 17, as you were searching around the warehouse, uh-huh, um, at some point you would come across uh, what looks to be um, mostly eaten um, some kind of meat on a skewer. Also, with that check as well, around there, there would still be a lot of, like, dirty footprints. Or um, footprints. Hey, mostly eaten meat on a skewer. Mm-hmm. Some kind of meat. Shish kebab. Basically, yeah. Where in it can you get one of those? So, also to mention, um, the screws in these pipes... From the way it looks like it's constructed, this was supposed to be fastened, but like it's it's not supposed to come off. So using a normal screwdriver could not have done this. So this screwdriver is way more powerful. It had the ability to just unscrew these things from a heavy, uh, duty pipe screw whatever this this was supposed to be constructed in a way where it does not come off does not come apart it is secured okay maybe we hold on to that yeah okay. I would like to cast detect magic okay I don't know if it's going to be helpful But it's like the only thing that I've got that's at all close. I mean, it may not gain me anything, but I figure I'll give it a shot. Okay. With Detect Magic, you definitely sense the magical presence coming from that screwdriver. Mm-hmm. Um, you would see any magical presence of any magic items that you have. Yep. You learn School of Magic. Yes, you do. Mm-hmm. You automatically School of Magic. Yeah, welcome to my favorite and least favorite part of this Let show. me look up the Schools of Magic because I would know this. Um, yeah, the moment you see him, you're like, yeah, I could see it being this one, but... And then sometimes you're like, it's like four different fucking schools. Yeah, and you're like, um. Oh. I don't know if this would be correct, but from what this item is describing, it's transmutation. Okay. That, that makes sense. For a school. Yeah, I would say either transmutation or like enchantment is the only thing I can think of. Mm-hmm. Nothing else makes sense. Evocation, it just explodes. <laughs> Put a shield around the screw. Okay. Protect it. Very faint. Very faint. All of the pipes start to glow. Yeah, they probably had that shit flowing. Yeah. With just many. Yeah. So yeah, this is absolutely how the tanks get filled. Yeah. Is there a trail, any form of trail, essence of magic, mm-hmm. aware as light? I would, I, I don't know. Like radiation, it remains for, for however many years. <laughs> it seems unlikely only because like the entire point of this tank is contain. Mm-hmm. But some yeah, could be got separated. out. Then, so. Ow. 
Yes. Oh. There would be a trail. This trail is just... Think of like any video game where you could have like um, like Assassin's Creed Eagle Sense or something yeah. where you can see like the magical or aura of the footprints yeah. or like you see glowing spots of where you're supposed to go. Some of the pipes lead away from this building and you can see like underground and they're glowing and it just kind of leads away before it fades out of your um, detect magic area of effect. Hmm. Crazy. Interesting. Crazy. Crazy. That makes sense. Crazy. Crazy. It, as in, based off what I can tell, the flow is coming from somewhere, but it continues out. Yes. They might all be. Okay. Connected. Go ahead. And is it being pumped in from somewhere else? Yes. So it pumps in I here and then it will goes. accept if you want to try to conclude or assume what might happen or might be going on here, you can roll Arcana. I would also accept Investigation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That would be, I think that would be it. So either, either one of those intelligence myself. rolls. I have neither no, of those. You can also ask for help. Yeah, somebody who's got like a brain on their shoulders <laughs> instead of the fucking homeschool boy who lived in the fucking country. <laughs> There's just a box somewhere, just. What? <laughs> Come take a look at this shit, I'm stupid. Okay. I go. Okay. I hail. Um, so. How are you describing this to, to someone who cannot see the magic? Okay. So. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> magic tubes. Yeah, correct. It's being pumped in. It clearly went to the tank. Yeah. Probably a filling station. Then it keeps going. Okay. So then, also magic screwdriver. So they're probably like pumping it in from somewhere, and then they and then it would have been in that tank, and then because the tank's not there, or because like, leftovers go full, continue onward. It continues to whatever else they got going on. No, that's the oh, that's what I put together. Yeah. No, oh, I missed something. No, you're right. Okay. No, I'm pretty sure we're still missing something. If you can roll the same either rolls or history with advantage, because you would more than likely know almost exactly how this thing works. Well, you would at least have a greater idea of how it works. History. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What? This pertains to their background, so they get advantage. No, that makes sense. Or backstory, I guess. No, no, that makes sense. I'm not worried about that. You should do a different role than what I had. Because yeah. I got a plus two in history. I don't suppose that any divine beings. You would have never seen this before. I know. Yeah. Want to provide divine wisdom or guidance or help or? I, I don't know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like the gods, but like... I believe in you, buddy. <laughs> Just to see. Uh, 19. Nice. Uh, with advantage. I did- I rolled a 17 and a 1. Reggie. I hate all of you. Where are my residuals, Reggie? <laughs> <laughs> Aristocrats. That, that's another thing. Aristocrats. Aristocrats. Hit the wee. Pipes. Hit the wee. I didn't hear that correctly. I thought you just said hit the weed pipe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what? 
good now. <laughs> Post haste. Post haste. So, puff, puff, pass. Puff, puff. Post haste. Puff, puff. Post haste. <laughs> ruff, ruff, fresh. <laughs> ruff, ruff, raggy. <laughs> ruff, ruff, fresh. <rest>. Raggy. <laughs> Okay, wait, okay. well, side tangent, have you I'm guys go home. <laughs> Stop. I'm so sorry. Okay, so. <laughs> we're all doomed. When you were tasked to guard the magical tank so long ago, before the incident, you would have seen at some point how this magic was being siphoned. You wouldn't have spent too much time looking or trying to study it because you just wouldn't have cared. I didn't give a fuck. Yeah, but since this was almost a decade ago, right? Yeah, um, it was a decade and change because yep. I've been with Ambrose mm -hmm. for a couple of months. So maybe it's almost been like 11 so years. That was a very early access build. Yeah. <laughs> a prototype, if you will. Very early access. Um, you would have seen, and it probably would have been attached to the building, a steel tower. And at the very top, there would have been like a glass, what looked to be like a glass orb. That's it. It wouldn't have done anything because you can't see a certain light. Yeah. But that's really it. There were pipes connecting to it, okay. to that tower. I assume that it was kind of like Dr. Frankenstein with like the lightning and trying to siphon off like that. Yes. Hell yeah. Fuck, that's awful. That's neat. Guys, I love Dungeons and Dragons. What the fuck? Okay. I love fantasy science. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, sure. Time to learn about the orb. So. <laughs> Ponder this orb, you fucking casual. Huh? So, huh? Huh? the uh, I don't know exactly like where it's going specifically because I don't know where they've got all the different warehouses. It's been a long time, um, but they have this uh, like tower thing that has a big ball on the top um, that I assume somehow gets that uh, magic. Stuff in it. Oh, yeah, it absorbs the yeah, light. I think so. Oh, 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 God. How do I spell aware again? O W A E Y R. -A -E -Y -R. Guys, I'm brilliant. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Damn. The destruction. It hurts so bad. Crisp. <sighs> Ow. Yeah, me and Koi had a really good high five that one time. Right? Yeah, I remember yeah. that, and that Koi was, awesome. was in pain. <laughs> that was awesome. Oh. I can see God. <laughs> What's he say? Shrimp Alfredo? <laughs> okay. We need to be sedated. Bagels. Yeah. yeah. I'm quite fine. I was You're good. <laughs> Okay, now you need to be sedated. Right. Okay, cool. So, so magic screwdriver. Yep. Um, meat. I found meat. Meat. Meat on the stick. Am I back inside now? Mostly chopped. <laughs> yeah, you're back inside now. Okay. Yeah. Oh, hi, Arden. Well, like, what hey. Find anything interesting? God knows. Too fucking muddy. I said, see anything? Ugh. <laughs> meat. Mr. Uh, what you yeah. got there? Elaborate? Me? I don't know what it is. Just me? So, you guys have two clues with you that could lead to a potential source. Yeah, Macau. Um, for either clues, you can roll a history check with advantage. Um, everyone else. Uh -huh. um, wouldn't be so much for the meat, but for the screwdriver, I would allow you to roll investigation or. I'll go meat. I died. Before anybody moves. 
Uh, it rolled. I would say out. investigation for the rest of you. Some neat time. Who's got the highest investigation out of the three of us? Not me. Because your guidance is still active. I just have a plus one. What do you got? Plus one. Here you go. Some guidance for you too. No, plus zero. <laughs> So, D4 for you. D4 right. for you. Or if you want to roll history with advantage. Natural 20. Hey. Bam. Bam. You got a D4. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. You got a D4 for your guidance. 21. So, Nat 20, a 21. Hold on, guys. I got to add it to my uh, my card. That was. Oh, yeah. Guys, guys, I'm one away. I'm one away. I'm at nine natural 20s. Oh, shit. Bingo, bingo. Let's go! I'm so excited! I haven't seen that for 20 and 20 years. That was sick. <laughs> I got scared because I was going to do this. I went, no, this one's better. <laughs> this I thought you were just doing a little, <laughs> little ritual for your sneeze. <laughs> um, I got an unnatural 20 for history on the meat. Okay. And then you guys all rolled really well for the mm-hmm. false. Dara did not. <laughs> and then oh, Ambrose. Dara. How did Ambrose do? Oh, hey, Ambrose buddy. is here for the right. How is he? Ambrose wrote really fucking well. Oh my god. I think that's over a 20. Because I think Ambrose is Smarticus. Yeah, he's Smarticus Spartacus. Mm. Yeah, it's very unfortunate that we lost our Smarticus Spartacus. <clears throat> I mean, Smarticus Spartacus is always with you. Yes. I just... We all four. Yeah. I don't like playing DM PCs because I'm more focused on you guys than the yeah, DM PC. The DM PCs. That's why only some. And I could just Ambrose. Yeah. And I could I could yeah. just be like, oh, Ambrose also sees this while you guys don't like lead you. I'm like, I'm not gonna do that. Yeah. Yeah. I feel shitty. Yeah. Exactly. So I'm you like, know, I get you. He's just in the background until you guys be like, yeah. what are you doing? Sometimes I literally just. Your turn. (laughs) (laughs) Surprise, we are the dungeon master. Uh, Unnatural 20 for Ambrose. Yeah, because he is pretty smart. Um, Okay. So, uh, Ornan, Mirage, and Spartacus Spartacus, um, when looking at this screwdriver, um, you would notice on like the very bottom, like the hilt of it, uh, there is a symbol of a like a hoop with keys on it, so like a keychain, um, and there are multiple keys on there. Um, but it looks like the keys, the way they are like positioned and like carved in there, um, spell out a word. Oh. But none of you are rogues, so you wouldn't know <gasps> what it is. Damn. Fucking thieves can't. I'm gonna- I weep. I almost just got so excited because I have a thing on here that says thieves tools and I went, (laughs) I don't know. Never mind. So, um, Macau. Yes. When it comes to smelling meat. um, Recalling meat. Recalling meat. You know the specific place. The marketplace of ditch. The... What might be the seediest place in all of Ditch? There's certain vendors that cook and grill meat and sell it to people. It's dubious at best, but you know a few people. Yeah, it's cheap. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Where would this be located? most likely around the center of the marketplace in Ditch. Um, So where you guys are currently at, um, it's not that far away, actually. You get there pretty quickly. sells this kind of stuff, like what we would even be looking for. Hello, have you seen any sinners lately? Like this? Was there a lot of them? 
a lot of meat. Yeah. But it's mostly eaten. But it, did it seem like there would have been a lot? Would there have been a lot? The skewer's it's probably thick. like maybe this long. But was it just the one skewer? And so, there, yeah, there's um, like maybe this much le- meat left on it. You can definitely see where there like was more pieces of meat on there. So it's like... Like the juice is soaked into yeah, the wood of the yeah, skewer. Yeah. Oh. So it's mostly eaten. That's not Someone just kind of tossed it aside when they came in here. So it's unless there's only one singular kebab place. Mm-hmm. Which is feasible. And without it being finished and left on the floor, it seems like they were in a hurry. Yeah, they were definitely in a hurry. Or they just didn't give a fuck. Mm. Nah. They're definitely not the best about coming in their uh, I mean, tracks. Agreed. I mean, they gave a fuck up to a certain point. And then... Yeah, and then they yeah, it definitely seems like something came up, and that's why it feels so rushed. They, were they wouldn't have left their, a screwdriver uh, behind. Yeah. With, uh, the, with the yeah. odd inscription it on it, honestly. Yeah. yeah. Know any thieves around this place? No, Might anybody wants to fucking read this. So many. Um. Oh. Since they found the symbol on the bottom, you don't have to roll for it. You would know what and who this relates to. Huh. Oh. Because of your background and your backstory. This tool. Um, sorry, let me rephrase that. You know someone who provides tools for all sorts of jobs. Those who are planning high-risk heists come to this person, though he may only be accessed if you have the proper contacts. So the violent thunk says a lot. This symbol. This I don't think this relates to any characters. No, I know. This symbol relates to the person nicknamed the Keymaster. Okay. Oh, well, that makes sense. <laughs> Please you know that he can only be accessed by finding one of his special guards called locksmiths. Once a locksmith is found, um, they give you what you need to access the Keymaster's place. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you would know this because any heist or if you needed a job done you basically go to this guy first get the tools you need and then skedaddle Garb, locations, anything like that, like where I can find a locksmith or how identify one. You would. So, um, most locksmiths are um, legit, like business owners and they work in shops. Mm -hmm. There's only specific few though that are a locksmith. Um, It's like most of, so hold on. So most of his like locksmith guard dudes are, that's what I'm asking. Sorry. About, like, his Mm -hmm. locksmith dudes. Yes. So, like I said, they are, um, most of them, like, business owners. Okay. They try to blend in as much as they can to, like, the society of Ditch. Mm -hmm. Um, So, for example, uh, at some point in time, 
in your life. Um, there was once a locksmith who was a um, like butcher, and anytime you would go to him, you would uh, tell him that you're looking for a locksmith, and he would give you a coin. And the coin uh, has very specific um, like embossing on it. Um, so the door that you go to, you essentially insert this coin and the way it like is inserted and it falls, it unlocks the door, but nothing else can actually unlock this door. So. There's a um, non-zero chance that somebody has approached a butcher for a locksmith and has unintentionally got a coin. So, if you want to, you can roll investigation to see if you can find a locksmith once you are outside the facility. Okay. I will relay all of that. Mm-hmm. Thank you. <laughs> I definitely wrote a lot of that down. Oh, you don't make me delete it. No, I can't tell you. Fascinating. Hmm. There's a, a lot of systems to get around systems here. Yeah. This place is impressive in its scum. Terrifyingly yeah. impressive. So, do we want to uh, find a locksmith? We've got a door that needs a lock. It's a mystery door. The door is a yeah. mystery. Okay. You just explained the joke. Now it's not funny. Okay, fuck me, and I walk outside. Let's go find a locksmith. All right. Okay. So, you guys exit the facility back into the dark streets of Ditch. Um, Unlike Lothmanger, the... How Ditch is kind of lit when it gets darker, um, you would see there are very primitive (coughs) version of lamps um but these are not lit by um like everlasting flames um or whatever the spell was called i just forgot all of a sudden um continuous flame there are like actual like candles and some houses have like either wall sconces or um, areas to like light candles, but it seems like once the sun or the light goes away, this place becomes very dark. Um, oh boy. Mm-hmm. <coughs> okay, so you've exited the facility, you're back out at ditch. What are you doing? What the fuck is man? Okay. You can go ahead and roll an investigation. Again, you can give yourself advantage because this is your home. Guidance. And you are knowing who you're trying to go look for. You, you do know who you're trying to go look for, like the type of people. You're essentially trying to remember. But where the fuck are they? Mm. I'm like, uh, that street wasn't there before. <laughs> <laughs> That's new. That's new paint. Hello. What if I shot myself? Ooh. Whoa. Oh. Wait, that that was that before. Um, so that's gonna be it. Twelve. Well, not the worst. So. As you're walking through Ditch, trying to navigate it, um, you are taking your group through like the back alleys, the areas that you know yeah. quite well. Um, and again, all yeah. these back alleys are either full of garbage, there are maybe like people here and there, just kind of like, a leaning against the wall, sitting against a wall, and as you like pass them, they just like look up at you with these sharp, cold eyes. Um, sometimes they look like almost desperate or just hanging on to survive. Um, 
Some of these places look a bit more steampunk-like, I guess, if you will. Um, but... No, I guess no, that's the wrong description of that. Anyways. As you are leading them down through, like, almost a maze of alleyways, um, at some point... Um, some guy, bigger dune, with like a tattered cloak, hood over his head, very scruffy beard, few teeth are missing. He's got like um, scars over his like forehead and face, very dirty looking. Um, you hear, pulls out like a dagger and he like steps in front of you. Um, you hear, <laughs> and two more people uh, drop down from like the low oh. building roofs. And then from behind you guys, you would also hear like, <laughs> and like three more come up from behind you. Surprise, it didn't happen earlier. The, the supposed leader um, who stands in front of you uh, looks beard at all boy, of you. No teeth. Yeah, beard boy, no teeth. He just <laughs> looks at you guys, and since I'm assuming you are leading them yeah. through, yeah, um, Orton's in the very back. Yeah. yeah. This guy also the maybe around just, a little over yeah. six feet looks down at you. <sighs> looks like we got a few <sighs> out of towners. <laughs> Boys, I think it's only polite to advise these out-of-towners that um, there's a bit of a toll if you're passing through here. Oh, right, right, yeah, no, 100%. Do you accept teeth? What? Do you you take the human teeth? I was so on pocket, I was on the <laughs> Seems one. Oof. Seems this one's got a bit of a bite. I was gonna say silver tongue. You know, I could sell that silver tongue. Could go for. To buy some teeth? Cool. <laughs> you better shut your gum. Yeah, and if you touch one of them, you'll end up six feet under. We already live six feet under. Yeah, do you want six feet more? Well, I mean, technically (laughs) we live like... As you know, math is fucking useless. You hear one of these... How tall is this guy? He's about six feet, six one, maybe. I could take six feet off you. We're on a roll today. (laughs) This guy... (laughs) Go ahead and roll intimidation. (laughs) Any of those who spoke up can roll intimidation. (laughs) Some Weasley, uh, a Weasley looking halfling, uh, kind of like pops up behind him and goes, "Boss, um, <clears throat> I-, I think they're trying to be. Uh, I-, I-, I don't think they're gonna pay the toll." And he just looks down and just goes, "Shut up." Okay. 14. Fourteen. Twenty-three. Twenty-one. <laughs> profi- yeah! I'm, I'm proficient at. I am not. We died for nothing. <laughs> we died for nothing. <laughs> we are the we died for nothing. Yes. Duo. <laughs> and we the death dying. bonded. The death bond. Yep. Death bond. Die bond. I'm just here. We gotta die together De-bond sometime. No. The <laughs> set. I don't want to die together. Right, oh come on, it's an experience. We'll dye your beard. Come no. Come on. We can make it a nice like, ginger. It already is ginger. I what? suppose this time we can give you a little pass. But I warn you, if we ever see you again, mm-hmm. we'll be making your packs a little lighter. I'm threatening to make your mouth lighter, but I can't. There's not much left in this. Let's go! Move. He steps off to the side. (laughs) Are the ones in the back still just like eyeing us as we leave? Mm -hmm. As you like move forward, so too does the ones behind you. They like move forward before they regroup with the rest of them. The footsteps and um, the 
battle axe that like can transform mm-hmm. into a hand axe and like I said, I take it out because I keep it in hand axe form and I just grab it and just extend it all the way down into the battle axe and I just drag it on the ground. Nice. And we leave. Uh, you see one which looks to be like a black skin tiefling with like a broken off horn, just kind of like is like cross arm trying to look tough, and then as you like pass by him and you and just hear just... the <laughs> just <laughs> and he like turns around and, just... <laughs> and I look back I'm like yeah. and I just keep dragging it behind me until all of them are gone. Oh, as you God. guys are like I love leaving, going home. as you guys are leaving, you hear. Do my teeth really look that bad? Tell me honestly. <laughs> I just look, no, just boss. Look no, 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 no. You look, look you look fine. You look fine. All the ladies, they love just you. Let them and they like turn around and walk away. <laughs> and I just. Okay. So, um, at some point, you would come across a small, really run down library. Um, you would know that there is a locksmith that works in this library. Um, you would know he is a... Uh, this one would be a half-elf. Uh, a little bit bigger for a half-elf. Um, he has like uh, long, like greasy black hair. Um, looks a bit more tidy up than the rest of the people in Ditch, uh, but basically wears like a simple robe. Um, yeah, he's like one of one of two people that work in this in this library. Uh, but you know that he specifically um, is a locksmith. Okay. Sweet. Okay, uh, you want to go in or do you want to just... Should we? I mean, you, I don't know. I don't know what you want. I mean, you can come in with... I don't, I I'll mean, come in with you. Yeah, it seems like yeah. a solid idea. This okay. place is clearly shitty. They're trying to rob us already. That's not the split. How many times have we been threatened to be robbed already? And sometimes it results in a little bit of uh, letting off of steam in this fun. So. Yeah, that was kind of worth it. <laughs> really it, no it can go, I mean, like, more like letting off steam. Oh, well, yeah. yeah, we to were on fire fair, back I almost made one guy funny. in the back throw up, so that was kind of was cool. On Oh, the handbags. You fit right in, bitch. Okay. I just, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Just not mean you can stay. Please. I fit in here. Yeah, you guys. You guys were dropping some fucking lines. <laughs> you walk in. Uh, this library is very run down. Um, a lot of the shelves here are either dusty or moldy. You would actually see that there's kind of like a hole in the roof and there's like water that would like drip down occasionally. There's like a bucket underneath it. Um, You can see the wood around it is like getting moldy and nasty. Uh, So you can like the the smell of like mildew kind of hits you when you walk in. Um, You see the locksmith and like the back um, putting like books back and like arranging them. And there's like one other person in here who, um, again, looks very um, tattered, malnourished person. Um, he seems not all there as he is just like like fingering through different books, but his eyes are like thousand yard stare. It's very quiet in here. So when you open the door and it. Uh, the people, <laughs> apart from the guy who's like looking through the books, like look over at you and just like look at you, acknowledge in their head that you're there, and then go back to work. Okay. Does not come to greet you. Okay. Anybody want to do some light reading or? No. Not really in the mood for it right now. Me neither, oddly enough. Uh, I want to go kind of meander over towards the locksmith guy. Okay. 
as he's like putting away books, he just kind of like glances at you and then. <clears throat> Howdy. Hello. Hi. Is there anything you're looking for? Anything I can help you with? Um, you know, actually, yes, there is something that you can help me with. You are just the guy I'm looking for. Um, see, I've got a. Uh, I broke a uh, broke a key recently. And uh, now I just can't get into my house, so I need a I need a locksmith real bad if you know one. I see. Well, lucky for you, we have just the book on that. And he leads you over to like one corner of the shop, and then before he does anything, he looks, looks. There's no one else in here. <laughs> I, I respect this slides out like a red leather bound book he opens it and like hollowed into like the pages is a coin that he takes out and he hands to you you do that and he visibly like looks at you and then like like in an anime starts immediately sweating like, <laughs> oh, come on, I'm fucking with you Okay. Uh, he closes the book and then he like puts it inside inside his room. What was your name? Or what can I call you? I'm a simple librarian. We'll keep it at that. Right. Thanks, Libby. And I. So <laughs> <laughs> for librarian. I hate it this works. place. Have a good one, Libby. <laughs> Okay. Nice and flush. Or I guess it would be the little corset thing. Because I don't know. Mm. Very good. Okay. Where the fuck is the door? Who. You're all in the library, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mirage, you can make a perception check for me. <laughs> oh, I'm just browsing at some really old books. Like, ugh. Mm -hmm. It's very dusty. It's dusty. <laughs> I pull one out to see if I can get another punch card. <laughs> okay. Uh. You don't notice anything. It's a very old library. Mm -hmm. Dusty, yeah. decaying, <laughs> damaged. <laughs> okay. So, what do you all do? I do Leave? <clears throat> question mark. I turn back to Libby. Why? Why? What? I'm sorry if you're looking on a book for sign language. Unfortunately, we don't have any. The door. What about the door? I'm sorry, I do not know what you're talking about. Okay, let's go. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> they gotta have preventative measures in case he gives someone the wrong fucking book, the wrong key, yes. the wrong person the coin. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I respect it, however. Son of a bitch. Yeah, that makes perfect sense. He's doing good. You're doing a good job. Keep turning those books. Somewhere in the library, you just hear, shh. Fuck you. Did you get the book that you were looking for? I did. Fuck you. You wish. I <laughs> will <laughs> Ah. <laughs> There's the language. <laughs> Dude. It's a library. It's a oh my god. <laughs> yes, I'm aware of that. <laughs> Let's just leave this fucking place. I'm out. Yeah. I'm out. Oh, we're out. I have departed. Um, Goddamn libraries. Okay. Well, do you not like being quiet, Dara? No. <laughs> That's a first. <laughs> once again roll investigation check with advantage because you again this is not so much finding the place is it, it is remembering how to get there because you know how to get there it's just do you remember the, oh, the way yeah. safest way to get there okay 18 18 is good enough so Again, leading your crew this time through 
mostly open streets, not through back alleyways. Oh. Um, as you are walking along, heading towards the Keymaster's shop, at some point you would hear a scuffle going on from like inside a house right beside you. And all of a sudden you hear, doo, 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 boosh, and busting out through this door, this uh, tiefling is just thrown out and just like, trigger fingers tumbles. <laughs> and like rolls like to your feet and he like looks up at you and then like gets on his feet and like gets ready to like fight. He doesn't have any weapons on him apart from like brass knuckles and he's ready to scuffle. Um, walking out uh, from a door uh, appears to be a robust Goliath. We're talking, have you, you guys all seen The Hobbit, right? Well, yeah. Have you seen the Goblin King? Yeah. yeah. Like how he's built? Yeah. That's this Goliath. That's how he's built. Oh God. Big blubbery Goliath. Goes, up, boy. <laughs> um, is wearing nothing but like tattered cloth shorts and a vest that is way too small for him. Um, and he comes walking out. He's got uh, he's got no hair. He's got pure white eyes. Um, his jaw is slanted to like one side, and he's got big scars across one side of his face. And most of his teeth are replaced with like pebbles or stones. So he comes walking out, and he just pounds both of his knuckles together and goes, "You're a knuckle dragger territory, you fucking grog tosser." And then the tiefling who stands up, you see, like, um, for a second, he looked like he, like, was sober. But as he stands up, he begins wobbling, like, back and forth and, like, cannot stand up straight. And you know when he starts talking, this dude is drunk as fuck. Oh. And he goes, Listen, <clears throat> you are technically on the line between the territories. Therefore, it is my right to fight you for this, and I'm willing to do so. So, come on. I um, haven't heard no bell yet. And this big blubbery Goliath, <laughs> it'll be easy. And poof, poof, takes a couple steps forward before um, the tiefling like hops forward and just starts like punching this dude in the gut and you just see like ripples of fat and this dude is just looking down at him and just starts laughing uh, before he takes both of his fists and like hammer slams um, and he definitely like grazes the tiefling but as he like hits like his arm it like flings back and he like reposts and just cracks the dude in the face and both of them are now in this like all out fight between a very slow Goliath and a stumbling, bumbling, drunk tiefling that seems to be handling himself pretty well. Absolutely. Yeah. Drunk Drunk fists. Fists. Yep. <laughs> Ain't no way it's not. Should, uh, should we just go around? Or? Uh, I mean, it's a territory problem, so. Do we care about any of them? I mean, as Do long I as care? we. Um, you would. When would I, where would I have been lumped in? Probably not. I feel like because of the position I was in, I wasn't necessarily. You were kind of above it all, yeah. and you didn't have your own following of people. You didn't have a gang or crew. Mm. You were just yourself. Yeah. So you're <laughs> really above it all. Yeah. For lack of better terms. All right. Is it a situation in which I assume that? the only weight that I'd be able to drag around is name, not like actual authority. You can try to have some authority. I just if, want them to fucking stop. If you <laughs> want them to stop, you can try to intervene or you can let them brawl it out to see who wins. This is basically a fight over territory. Mm. This tiefling wants whatever building this, this guy is in. This is rough. For whatever it's, fucking there's, reason. <clears throat> there's what? There's what Macau would do, and then there's what Macau now would do. <laughs> there's a difference between those two things. Now he's like, can you fucking stop? And then he would have been like, <laughs> no, sir, no, he's coming. Oh, he's coming. <laughs> so what are you doing? Should we just ignore them? I mean, 
It feels wrong, but on the other hand, I mean, it's not our problem. Yeah, yeah, it's a territory fight. You want yeah. down here? That's not any of their territory, obviously. Yeah, don't exactly. I don't give a fuck. I wasn't ever involved with any of them, so. So, what I'm hearing is that we go around and pretend like we don't see anything. Yeah, I think it's a small hey, so like good idea. Fuck it, let's go! Yeah. Alright! Huh? I <laughs> said, so, yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Fuck it, let's go. You guys leave? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're just going around them. We're going around them. Okay. Good luck! As you guys are going around and leaving, um, at some point you would just hear, like, <laughs> I have got you. <laughs> uh. I turn around and take a peek. Uh, that tiefling is dead on the ground. Yeah. And this Goliath just like laughs at now a twisted, mangled corpse of a tiefling and goes, <laughs> Wrong toss it, no beaten knuckle draggers. He's strong. And he spits and then <laughs> grabs the somewhat broken shards of a door and like starts gathering them before like walking back into the building. <sighs> that feels. I don't like this place. It's a, it's a typical Monday. That's the problem. Also, no one has to roll for this. There is no signs of any sort of military, militia, or authority here. At all. No guards, no nothing. Nothing. So, you guys continue on. Macau, you would find the Keymaster's shop not too far from where you were. The shop looks like an ordinary, run-down wooden building. It is dilapidated and looks abandoned from the outside. What stands out is there are no doors to enter this building. Instead, at what appears to be the front of the building, is a very small slot outlined in a copper frame. It seems to fit a coin. <sighs> Upon inserting the coin, chains start to rattle and gears start turning as a section of the wall in front of you opens like a door. Just. <laughs> Ladies first, or do you want me to go? I guess I'll take a step in, um, and then just mage armor real quick. I think it's wise. Okay. <sighs> After eight hours. I don't think he'll fuck with you. I don't know, I don't trust anything in this place. Very unpredictable. Better to be safe than sorry? Keeps me on my toes. Let's go in! Okay, now, let's do this. <sighs> you guys enter inside. The room is dimly lit by a few candles melting down, dripping off the sides of counters and table corners. You have to crouch as keychains dangle from low hanging rafters above you. At the end of the room is a counter where a handsome, well dressed man is sitting, tinkering with a lock. He wears a purple button up shirt with sleeves rolled up past his elbows, a black vest, black pants, and pointed black shoes. He is thinly built with uh, curled black hair that is swept oh. to the side, and he has a uh, facial feature. Or, I hope. He, he, so, has, he has a facial feature. He has. <laughs> What was I on when I was writing this? He has a facial features <laughs> and sharp amber eyes. I think I was supposed to say he has sharp facial features and sharp amber eyes. It he works. He just has facial features. He just, he just has. He features. definitely has a face. He has a face. Thank God. There's yes. nothing on that face. <laughs> it's just He's completely empty. Too sharp amber eyes, no mouth, no nose. Um, so... He's like tinkering with the lock as you guys enter. <coughs> doesn't acknowledge that you enter, doesn't look up, just continues tinkering. Just. Can I uh, see the screwdriver? Yeah, sure thing. Thanks. I'll walk over to this little table. 
and do like that thing where you you hold something and you like set it down, but your hand's still on. Because <laughs> I'm dramatic. Good day. Hello. Hi. Uh, question: Is this uh, is this one of yours? That's a stupid question. This one of yours, yeah. Correct. I am just wondering if I can find out um, who who you gave this to. Maybe they took something that doesn't belong to them, and they left this at the scene of the crime like a bunch of goofs. So he carefully sets down the lock and like the thieves' tools that he has, and just slides it forward a little bit before putting his elbows on the counter and resting his hands or putting his fingers together. I'm sorry. But I cannot give out any information regarding my clients. Mm -hmm. I'm sure that, you know, you can't, um, but, you know, in the long run, you probably will, and so I just think it would be a lot easier if maybe I told you that, uh, f first things first, I'm on, uh, explicit Austrasian business, uh, two, uh, the people in question stole something that could cause a significant amount of devastation to Ditch, and therefore you would have significantly less clientele, and three, uh, no, that's it. Just the two. I'm not good at counting. <laughs> Clearly. As much as I would love to tell you, this is how business is ran here. And I can assure you, if things do turn sour, I'm sure my skills are needed in many other places. Ditch is not the only seedy place in an amnesis. It's one of the best places though. For your kind of business that is, you've got a fucking monopoly around here. Of course. I've been I've been to this guy before, right? Mm -hmm. okay. You've been to this place. This is a different guy. Fuck, the I'm last not... guy you remember seeing here was a really dinosaur of a man. Okay. On the verge of death. Okay. You've seen this man before. But he was not the key master. Okay, so either like apprentice or like family business, maybe like something like that. Yes. Okay. He's taken the role. Mm -hmm. Do I remember the name of the former key master? It is Aaron. Aaron. Cute. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Cute. <laughs> Knew it. Um, <laughs> my goodness, Senator Palpatine, when did you get here? Oh, fuck. Hold on. Hold on. Fuck. Fuck. My notes! My notes! <laughs> Bless you. Awesome. How do you pronounce his first name? Is it Buren? Mm-hmm. Okay. <sighs> Listen, Buren, my guy. I was, I don't know if you remember me, but that was like a long time customer of Baron, you know? And, um... I had a lot of respect for the guy, and of course, that respect now passes on to you. And so, I understand that you have a certain way that things need to be run, you know, tradition, business, standards, protocols, policies, all that sort of thing, uh, secrets, you know. Um, but I know for a fact already that the uh, sinners of absolution came through here, or had somebody else come pick something up for them, and... I just need a description, if you have any names, locations, something like that. I'm not asking you to give out your trade secrets here, okay? I just need to find these fucks. 
because they took something that doesn't belong to them using some of your product. And I don't blame you for that. You make good shit. You've got good shit around, okay? I just kind of want to fuck them up for taking something that doesn't belong to them. I don't do well with that. And I'm sure I can get you the right tool for the job. Mm -hmm. okay. However, you knew my father. Mm. You might have known him as being a little more lenient. But before he died, he almost sunk our business by giving out information. And I learned from his mistake. If word gets out that I am just giving any one of my clients information on someone else, well, I no longer have that monopoly now, do I? I don't just deal in tools. I deal with secrets and knowledge. Kept secrets. Hidden knowledge. My respect for you has grown, actually. As like, he finished talking, um, you hear from behind him, there's a door that's creaked open just a little bit. You can see light coming through. Uh, you hear someone just... <coughs> <coughs> and he like, like perks his head up and he turns around and then looks to all you. What? He decides to like stay still, even though it seems like something is more pressing. Is someone ill? Unfortunately, yes. Is Aaron sick? Well, my father has passed. I can help. Persuasion. Persuasion. Shit. I'll take it back. 18. Hey, yo! Hey. Ba -da -ba -boom. Oh, I forgot that I have a plus two in persuasion. It's really helpful. We're a pretty helpful group. <laughs> and how... How could you help? I... I'm good with healing. I can cure diseases. Most. Not all. Magic shit. Don't oversell yourself. He looks at you, and his eyes become a lot more soft. It's my younger sister, Taya. She has fallen ill as of recent. And since Straz has shut down the jumpers, I cannot go to any of the healing temples. I cannot get her the help she needs. I'm stuck here. If you are willing to help, I suppose I can trade for information. What ails her? I do not know. That's fine. I'll see what I can do. This way. And he like stands up and he leads you to the door behind him and he opens up and you see a very sick young girl in bed white as a ghost, has a wet cloth over her head, uh, blankets pulled up all the way to like her uh, neck. Um, this room is like made of stone um, or I guess like simple plaster. Yeah. Um, creaky wood floors, the blankets that she has on seems to be like hide of some kind of animal and there's like three different layers of blankets on her um there's a simple like bedside table with a bowl of water uh does not look like clean water um and she just kind of like looks over to you you can see there is like sweat on her face um and her eyes just look bloodshot she has like bags under her eyes just looks very ill um but she like looks to you and then looks up to um, her older brother 
and just doesn't say a word and almost looks kind of scared that you, like bear of a man, has just approached. Mm-hmm. Hey, <clears throat> I heard you're ill. I'm just... good at taking care of illnesses. I've dealt with many of them. Like what kind? <laughs> a lot. Anything from the common cold to some of the worst. Why? Why? Well, I'm trying to help people. And... Why? I lost my wife to an illness. And ever since then, I've strove to make sure people don't lose theirs. She was ill, like... Like me? Not the same. How not the same? It's an illness born out of the Mistwoods to the south. She came from the Mistwoods? Yes, she was an elf. She must have been pretty. Yeah, I'm certain you will grow up to be pretty too. I'm gonna make sure of it. She like... She gives you like this smile and um, as she does she like begins to cough again like very violently um, and then she like stops and like kind of gives you like this face of pain. Um, you can go ahead and make a medicine check. Okay, yeah, I'll start with a medicine check. Like a Just to see if you can figure out what's yeah. causing her to be ill. Come on, come on, <laughs> come on, come on, come on. Oh, fuck. Have <laughs> I guided you oh. wrong? No. Oh. That is a 25. I'm the yeah. player! Yeah. <laughs> All of a sudden. <laughs> Very easy to tell. Just by like giving her a quick like scan and seeing just how her face is. Uh, she's poisoned. Poison? And so it can very easily be cured. By no! Her. Poison effect? I don't have the fucking. I don't think I have a spell that ends poison. Oh, I do. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I was staring I at lesser restoration so like. so scared for a second. And I'm like, I looked this up. I know you have it. <laughs> and I'm like, did something change? Did I look wrong? I, I was staring at lesser restoration spell? like ends disease. Okay. That's and then you're like, poison. I'm like, fuck. I, I guess the that's it. Fuck out of me. <laughs> he changes fucking spells. <laughs> Help, help. Oh, oh dear. Okay, uh, sorry. Also with the 25, you surpassed the uh, second check as well. <laughs> um, Dara's really good at- Somebody just screamed in the street and they made the- <laughs> That was so violent and raspy. So what's going on outside of the shop. Yeah. Real. Sorry. You good? You wouldn't know it. No. Nah. There is- other information that you need first before seeing that, but you would have known if that information was given. Anyways, you'll sorry. Have a, you'll have a that's so raven, but like yeah. to the past. And you'll you, be like, oh. you don't know. <laughs> yeah, you can just tell that she has been poisoned. By what though, you don't know. Okay, I'm gonna get you taken care of. I just need to sort out exactly what's going on. Mm -hmm. I know a little bit. Um. I'm gonna to speak to your brother outside for a moment. Okay. You'll be okay. I can guarantee that. Okay. Okay. And I'll just head up front. I need a couple of things. Very minimal. It's just, um, she's not ill. She's poisoned. How, how can that be? That's why I'm asking you. Either the water, like, where do you guys get your water from? Where have you been getting food? Uh, food I buy from the shop, not the marketplace. Um, there's a general store near here that usually sells food that I get. Um, water, there's a well near here that I get it from as well. Um, Fine. I didn't expect it. Um, um, I would need to be a silly goofy little edit whenever he walks by the camera. Like, Josiah! <laughs> <laughs> I didn't never know! It's a dumb little theme song. Oh, a little guitar riff. 
You have a theme song now. You're welcome. So <laughs> You're becoming me. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll figure out a way to get like the what's it called oh my god when you get a cameo I'll get that <laughs> I'll get Jack Black <laughs> yeah. oh yes. Tenacious D stuff that would be awesome okay <laughs> so um, he gets a food from like a general store near here water from the well yep um, he said I've been doing that as far as I can remember nothing's Changed. Where's the well? Just south of here, not too far. Yeah, because you gotta check the well, make sure there's nothing in it. I. The only thing that has happened recently before she got ill is she went out with her friends, and they they were out playing. They were gone for quite some time, but she came back a little dirtied up. But that was it. Any scars or anything on her? Bruise on her elbows, but she said she just fell. So I'm not too sure if I could have done anything, but I didn't pry for information. I just thought she was out playing. Okay, that's fine. Um, the only thing I need, do you have like an empty barrel for one? Of course I do. And then a bucket and a rag. I have those. And it's just, just in case anything decides to come back up. I will acquire those. Yeah. And he just like walks off to a, a separate room. Yeah, just empty bucket, please. And empty barrel. Like so that way I can get you guys some fresh yeah. water. The kids? Yeah. Like, I know, like, the half off probably, but like, how old ish? Maybe, maybe 10 years old. Young. Young. So. Baby elf. We need to find out where dog. For a half elf, she's probably like twenties. Yeah. Need to find out where the fuck she's. Yeah. Yeah. We can ask when she's not puking her guts. Exactly. (laughs) Like a minute later, he comes back with everything you need. Perfect. Small barrel, bucket. And so you know, the barrel is just going. I'm going to cast a spell. It's called create water. It's just going to be filled with fresh water. That's all this is. And then I'm gonna cast lesser 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 restoration on her. That's all I'm doing. I trust you. If anything um, does go wrong, though, I will pay that toll with my life. I mean, understood. He's kept us alive so far. I just. No, I. I need help. When I it comes where? to family having an outsider help, definitely doesn't calm the nerves, but I assure you, no. he is. Okay, if sister's in good hands. He's good at his job. Maybe a minute and this will be taken care of unless she has to clear out her system. I wouldn't trust you if you had the stench of ditch on you. But I can tell you're outsiders, so. <laughs> yeah. You're not like the rest of us. I am far from home. Perhaps there is good in your souls. I would like to hope so. Okay. There's just no good here in Ditch. He looks specifically at you. Macau. I will be quick. I head into the room carrying all the materials. Okay. Uh, I will set the barrel off the side. I'm going to cast create water, fill it up with fresh, clean water. How did you do that? That's, uh... That's my, uh, clerical magic. Is it clerical? Hold on. Am I talking out my ass? I think it might be druid. <laughs> Am I talking out my <laughs> clerical error? <laughs> <laughs> I lie, that's my druidic magic. I was like, that's that, druid, baby. That's my, uh, life magic I pull from the power of ethos and such. It's life magic. Okay. Jeez. Life magic is different from your cleric magic. Yes. You don't pull from the light of aware this time. Instead, this 
the water, how it fills the barrel, like starts in the bottom and rises up. But the energy comes from the ground, almost like you pulled water up from the earth and put it into the barrel. You could feel as you like cast this spell, your feet and however you use your body to cast this spell feel connected to the ground. Like you feel the ground as if it's alive and breathing. It You feel its warmth. But in this area, you feel a slight bitterness or cold as well. Just a, just a tinge. Mm-hmm. But um, that water fills up the barrel and you've cast the spell. I just had to describe that it's very much that. different. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That was cool. Mm-hmm. Ah, it's druidic magic I pull upon both the power of the gods and mostly upon the power of the land itself. Well, your wow. land is not as clean the deeper you go. And there's always good the deeper you get. Oh, that's that's not what Biren says. He says the deeper you look into someone, the more darkness you'll find. There's a difference in a people and a, the earth. Is it not dark down there? Oh, it's dark. Like, likewise. But when it comes to purity, then no. The deeper you go, the less likely you're going to have those contaminants, like metals and anything else that may dirty up the land. Oh. Time will always cleanse things, and so with this, I will clean it. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to replace your rag. I'm going to give you a bucket, just in case. Now I'm going to cast one final spell, and that'll take you right out. Is it going to hurt? Shouldn't. Okay. And she just kind of, like, like tries to her best to, like, sit up, and you can see uh, she's just wearing, like, a simple, like, nightgown. Um, and has, like, her skin is very paled. Um, and compared to her brothers, you know that she's, like, she looks like a ghost. Uh, beer and skin, uh, the key masters, is more of, like, a dark tan skin. And she's just, like, pale white. Okay. Mm-hmm. Now, I just need you to follow along with me. A little simple ritual. He's going to take off her necklace. Okay. Hands on the butt on this. And she... Now, one quick spell. And I cast Lesser Restoration, grabbing her hands. The Her pendant would glow a little bit, and that should be it. Whoa. How do you feel? Uh, you see immediately, starting from her hands... Um, color starts to come back to her skin and she like she clenches her eyes shut as you start like casting this spell but then she like opens an eye and um, again you can see the light of aware but those who don't have magic they can't but you know when she opens her eyes she immediately like goes like her eyes go big and she looks and you can tell that she sees what you're seeing and um, she's way too focused on how like beautiful like the light is and the spell that you're casting. She doesn't even realize that all the color comes back. Uh, she no longer has like the bags under her eyes. Um, this beautiful like tan skin comes back. Um, no more bloodshot eyes. Um, it almost seems like uh, think of like Lord of the Rings when uh, the King of Rohan. Yeah. Um, yep. and all that comes back. Yeah. It's almost it goes from like a hundred years old yeah. to like maybe yeah. fifty. Yeah. His yeah. Wrinkles disappear. Mm-hmm. It's basically it's, it's, Yeah. It's basically like that. What you see in front of you, um, and she just doesn't let go of the amulet and just like keeps looking at it until she is completely restored and that light kind of like fades away and she like looks up to where like the last little flecks of light fade away and then she um she still is holding on to the amulet she just kind of like is gazing off and that is a where's light aware aware god of magic aware 
what it, what does he look like? It's <laughs> a good question. I've never seen him myself. But <clears throat> he's I honestly don't know what he looks like. Well, his magic was pretty. Yes. If you train yourself, it's not always possible, but if you train yourself, it's something you can see always. Can I do what you did? If that's something you want to do. She just nods her head up and down, yes. Well, I'm not the one to teach you. That's not my skill set, but I know there are the healing houses, and they might be able to teach you. Otherwise, there are always schools that you can go study in. They won't have the same type of magic as me, but there are places you can study as well. Okay. Now, we have to get into a little bit of history now. I'm going to put the, her necklace back on. Um, what? I heard that you were out playing with your friends before you fell ill. Mm-hmm. Where were you guys? And she like looks up towards the door. Uh, did you close it all the way? Yeah, I would have. Yeah. So she like looks up towards the door to make sure it's like closed and that like no one's okay. listening. Okay. I. And she like leans in like close to you, and then she like tells you to come forward. She like I... cups her hands around your ear. I, I was playing near the spine. We're not supposed to go there. Yeah, I can see why. <sighs> Something there got you sick. Oh, I I did fall in the dirty water over there. That would do it. I shouldn't go back. But all my friends were playing there. I just wanted to be with them. I understand. <sighs> end of the day it's just not a safe place to be okay i know it's not fun news to hear Ooh. now take that rag off you don't need it anymore if you are thirsty there's a there's fresh water in the barrel there okay i'm gonna go let your brother know he's probably going to be very happy and at this point, I'll open the door. We're done. Um, as you like open the door, you can see that he had like, he's like chewing on like a fingernail as you open the door and he turns around. And then as you say, he's done, or you're done. He like opens the door further and just like rushes over and just like gives Tam um, a big <sighs> hug and just like brings her out to like shoulder length or arm's length. Don't scare me like that. Again. Okay? And you just hear her going, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And he gives her one last hug. Okay, um, I'm gonna go talk to these nice people, and then, um, we'll go get you some food, okay? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, you stay here. Um, I'll, I'll be right back. You see, she he like ruffles her hair a bit before stands up and then goes out, closes the door, and then walks back to like all of you. Thank you. I was worried I would lose the last part of my family. I know exactly what that's like. <clears throat> well, deal is a deal. <sighs> so, uh, he picks up the screwdriver and like turns it in his hand. Before he starts saying anything else, I just kind of like hand on the desk to like get his attention. It makes you feel any better? The reason that all the bunkers got shut down? That's who we're fucking up, and that's why we're here. So, justice? Good. Justice. Justice. You don't want to just... For Gotham! I'm sorry. <laughs> Stay out of Gotham. Just the corner. Just the corner. Just... For Taya! Justice. <laughs> Justice. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> justice. So. Uh, justice. You are correct. I was looking for the sinners of absol- absolution. <laughs> they came to me looking for this. Um, as he holds it in his hand, it morphs into different tools of all sorts. Multi-tool. An all-purpose tool. Multi-tool, D&D style. This tool, not only magical, but gets the job done for whatever you need. Need a lockpick? Turns into a lockpick. Screwdriver? Turns into a screwdriver. Anything you need. That's... Any simple tool. Turns into a hammer. Pretty handy. Very. Only certain people can use it, and this no. is all they needed. I didn't ask where they were going, but I did overhear some of them. And, by the way, you are looking for... Uh, he's going to describe the group once I find exactly... There it is. Two half-elves, tiefling, and an orc. Hmm. As they came in, the orc in particular was eating something that could only be found in the marketplace. Yep. Skewer of meat? You have it in your hand? Or no, what were you saying? A, no, I tossed it. I just I just say skewer of meat. That's it. They like to lift the seems. The orcs stated something that I remember saying that the street food was awful compared to Lothminga. Mm. So, I don't know where they came from or where they went. Well, clearly they're from Lothminga. Mm. But Lothminga they were in the Jason. marketplace, if that's any help to you. That's a start. Did they, did they come specifically looking for that particular tool, or did they just say, we need something that can do all this stuff? The latter. Okay. Because that would have been weird. Yeah. They came to me looking for a tool that could get the job done. And I had it, and one of them was able to use it. Do you know which one? It's one of the half elves. They looked very similar to each other. Assuming twins. Or relatives of some sort. Twin half elves, man. Gosh, so, so that none of was capable of using the screwdriver, this tool. Hmm? How does one use it? How does one engage it? Well, you have to be someone like myself. An artificer, specifically. That's the only people that can attune to this tool. Well, we have one of those. That's a good question. We have one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We still do, technically. We're coming oh. back for her. Yes. I, s- I won't ever leave this table until we get Candy back. I swear to God. This campaign doesn't end <laughs> until we get Candy back. If you kill her off, keep I know when you sleep. <laughs> My thoughts uh, exactly. <laughs> that really clears it up. Thank you. Yes, thank you, you know, for clarifying. We definitely need to go to the market. Yep. I do have one more piece of information for you. You just gotta make me a promise. It's an easy one. Anything. Don't get mad at her. All right. She was playing near the spine of her water. I, I had a feeling. To her. I had a feeling. And that water is exactly what poisoned her. Hmm. There's something there. It's 
those friends that she's with. I just need to keep a better eye on her. That's all. Thank you for helping. I hope the information that I've given you is helpful. Yeah. I'm going to also hope that this information stays between us. No one oh, needs to know. absolutely. Who the fuck else are you going to talk to? We're the only people that have friends, and it's us. Yeah, that's about it right now. Yeah, no, that is quite true, yeah. You're the first collected person we've met in Ditch. They didn't try to rob us. Or make or fun of us. Or manipulate us. Well, Which is, you know, Do something style. overall shit. Yeah. yeah. There's light and ditch after all. Mm. Yeah. So, uh, okay, it's, it's only a flicker. Our uh, flicker's on and off. Barely a flicker. Barely even a spark. Well, we'll be on our way. Please. As as we're departing, I want to be the last one to leave. I don't want to turn to him. Hey, Baron. Real talk for a sec. Do I still stink? Still do. Okay. It's the type of stench that will not leave Ditch Digger. You're different. You're different. Just not that different. Welcome home. And he sits down and starts tinkering with the lock. It's good to see you, bud. <sighs> I leave. Actually, you're not able to shut the door all the way. You're able to, like, close it. But as you, like, step out, like, a moment later, you just hear... <laughs> and it slams shut. Um, that was a lot to handle. Market time. Yeah, let's go to the market. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm saying. All right, bud. I think we had a lot. Yeah, it's just weird to be interacting with him now. You know, it's different. He's a bit more. <laughs> so. I had to pull rituals out of my ass. <laughs> so, fair enough. Why did you have to go ritual? Because I had. Yeah, ceremony and trying to explain magic in its full to someone that young is not going to be easily done. And so I made it seem like there was a lot more going on. Simplifying it by making it more complicated. Yep. Yeah. It's like you're not typically one to show off. To be honest, there wasn't a lot of showing off. There's a lot of baby fighting going on. Yup. Uh, we have more good time. Okay. Let's go find... Where'd the note go? Ah. Two, te- two half-elves, a tiefling, and an orc. Or is it two tieflings? One. Two, two half-elves, half-elves one okay. tiefling, and one orc. There you go. Thank you. What about the power? You guys enter the street market. A hustling and crowded marketplace. Rows and rows of street vendors take up the majority of the space of the open plaza. Unpleasant smells of all sorts overwhelm your nostrils. You see an ocean of tattered, dark clothes and dirty faces moving about. You hear the cries of vendors pushing their goods and services, the scuffle of a nearby brawl, and the occasional hissing of what appears to be meat cooking over flames. So, what are you guys doing? Uh, I assume that the the skewer that had the little cup out bottom was just a regular wooden stick, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. There's no calling thing, no calling card. Um, am I gonna have to like search this shit out by sin? <laughs> I could help you. Sniff. I know this is a, a, a long shot, 
Bang! But did uh did, did I recognize the like any of the spices that were used on me? Like was it from a specific vendor or like it probably there's no I'm just I'm grasping, but if there's nothing to grab, that's fine. <laughs> I am okay with that. Sometimes there are just no straws. Can't take a sip with no straw, so Sure, roll an investigation check. Sure. Okay. Very nice. Plus one! <laughs> 21! Okay. Nice. So. I said 21. It's right here. So, uh, this, like, specific meat, it seems to be um, some smaller animal type of meat it seems a little bit more gamey um you know there are maybe a few street vendors here who sell things that are again dubious at best yeah um but one in particular um that you might have frequented before because this dude somehow acquires like exotic like rodents or game from somewhere not native to ditch and just cooks it up and sells it and every time you come back to him he's got something different okay you know that this um guy in particular sets up his stuff um very much like at the heart of the market where a lot of people are usually at um so with that you just kind of start Meandering, meandering your way through the market. Um, again, you are shoulder to shoulder with people, um, bumping into people who don't really care. Like they're all going about their own business and um, they don't try to interfere with other people's business. Um, yeah. So uh, for all of you who are not really from a city place at all or are near a lot of crowds, this is almost claustrophobic uh, or claustroph claustrophobia inducing because um, you are again shoulder to shoulder with people you feel the the heat of bodies near you um, people are getting pushed or shoved into you and if you didn't know or if you guys didn't stand out from the general ditch crowd uh, you would get lost in this sea of people um, but you're following Macau uh, through this crowded market until you would hear an angry Goliath just oi the fuck come here and he grabs someone's arm and you just hear ah, ah. You trying to steal from me? I seize you. I seize what you have in your hand. And uh, you see uh, a human hand uh, holding what appears to be a very nice, like, pearl necklace. And um, you just hear him go, uh, this human who has a very, looks very nice compared to everyone else, has a very nice, like, dark blue uh, hood hooded cloak on um you see he's got some sort of like like noble clothing from from like his arm like what he has on um and as he's like holding it up he goes I, please i swear i was not trying to steal it i was just looking at it you know what we do to thieves boy and he slams this guy's hand on the table and takes out like a cleaver from behind him we take off their hands and he starts like placing the the blade against his fingers and he goes oh, i could take your entire hand right now i probably will and he starts raising the cleaver i'm gonna just whoa 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 He's looking over and i go oh, oh. shit uh you can make an intimidation or athletics check The, the athletics your dog. check would no. be to like s s grab his hand from stopping or, or intimidation check to kind of get his attention away. It's gonna be athletics. Okay. That is a 15. You put yourself in this hole. Okay. Plus. Yeah! So he raised the cleaver up. I'm gonna take the hand of yours as compensation for trying to steal. And he goes like raises it and just about ready to to slam down before you grab onto his arm. 
and he just shoots a nasty look over to you, uh, anger in his eyes. He's kind of like frothing at the mouth a little bit and just, who the fuck do you think you are? Do Goliath speak Gorgish? No. no. They speak giant. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you think all big bitches speak the same language? <laughs> racist. Sorry. You racist. I got son it. of a bitch. I'm just confused for a second. Don't you speak giant? On camera. I, I thought you did. I thought you did. Oh. That's where I might be getting it from. Oh. Give me a second to double check my ass. Give me a second. Let me double check. I could be wrong. I just I, I, I fall. What me fall? Just having a thought. I'm having a thought. I'm trying to read and I'm trying oh, yeah. to uh, common and work. Really? That's all. I, that's all I got. Okay. It's but it's like a sub written of Dorvish. So. Okay. Yeah. So you don't speak giant? No. Damn. Uh, you talk about uh, compensation? This filthy, puny human was trying to steal from me. I'll look down. Don't you see what he has in his hands? And he like holds this guy's wrist up who has pearls in his hand. Um, this human like looks over to you with like worry in his eyes. Um, He's uh, short, uh, maybe Macau size, if not a little shorter. Um, l round face, large glasses, uh, thin build um, with pale skin, um, which is contrasting his now bright red face. I look down at him with the, just trying to be as intimidating as possible. Now, did you um, actually Try to attempt to. No, 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 no. This is all just a misunderstanding. Insight. Oh, good roll insight. It's a nine, Chief. Oof. He is telling the truth. I, I swear, I just, just looking at it. Okay, okay. And he like looks like. Uh, Swings looks from the Goliath to you and just like back and forth, back and forth. I was just uh, looking, can, okay, can okay? You, can you stop stuttering over your, your own I, words? I, 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 Put the necklace down. You're going to go on your merry way. You are not going to come near this booth. You're not going to look this Goliath in the eyes ever again. Was just looking for a gift, and the Goliath like lets go of his wrist, and he just like puts his arms up. Sorry, I, 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 I'm, I'm sorry. And he just like puts his head down. Give, give me your hand. Give, give, give me your hand. I'm gonna pull out, pull out three gold. If you're really looking for a gift, use this. I, I don't need your money. You look at him under his cloak. He's and wearing he's very clothing. noble clothing. Yeah, Not like the ones that you saw before. Yeah. Um, he actually looks noble. Like he's come from noble descendant. Yeah, and he just hands the gold back to you. No, no, no need to it's steal. not money I need. Yeah, this dude's being honest. He like looks you up and down and goes, I, I, it looks like you might need it more than me. <laughs> Damn. I really, I really don't need it. I don't, I don't no, need no, your, no, I don't no, need no, your. No, no, no. Ornan, can you leave Ornan. the fancy rich boy alone, please? <laughs> the poor rich boy. <laughs> I'm sorry about him. I'm sorry, I didn't mean, um, I, I. No, 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 the, hey, look, you, uh, you clearly have no reason to steal a necklace. No. And I don't mean this as an insult, but you're a fancy pants looking kind of guy. And so there's just. You know, <laughs> so. I mean, just. Just hold on to the gold, it'll make him feel better. I, uh, okay. I just. He, like. I just need a gift for my girlfriend, and he just, like, turns around. <laughs> 
<laughs> and he starts, he just like hands in head and just like begins to like turn away and leave. God. Poor bastard. What a goo. Did his clothing, it was just like regular nobility, it doesn't really denote anything in particular. Like a family crest or like anything. It's just normal. Perception check. <laughs> Why are you getting because conniving right now? Because he might. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he might? He might be important. Um, I don't do well with authority, so... <laughs> no I don't do well with authority proceeds to be the authority. Where is perception? Uh... <laughs> where, where is perception looking? <laughs> uh, that's a solid 10. Nice. Okay. So, like, middle of the road. Yeah, 10 is, is right there. Um... Checkpoint. Um, nope. Nope, achievement unlocked. <laughs> Checkpoint reached. Checkpoint <laughs> reached. Uh, okay, let me pull it up. One second. Uh, I gotta search this up, actually. Oh. Check the lower banks. Checking lore banks. Aha! He is no one. <laughs> He's just the guy. Okay, he, you know, oh, actually, fuck. this would be really cool. No. He does have a family crest oh, who the hell uh, just on his clothing. With? It's like a um, a lapel, okay, or like pin, oh, like a brooch. Yeah. Okay. Who the okay. hell did I just mess with? This is the Strauss family crest. Um. Oh, shit. S T R A U S S. Okay. Now, what does this mean? <laughs> so the um, the Strauss family crest is a picture of or depiction of a bird with its uh, wings spread out. Has like a uh, it would actually be a hummingbird. Sorry, uh, like a thin little beak, um, wings outspread, um, but the like feathers like turn into like lightning bolts at the mm. very ends of them. So that's the Strauss family crest. Hmm. I believe all of you have the guide to the big city. This is the descendant of Von Strauss. Hold on. Guide to the big city. It's on the things to know, it's the second one. Holy shit. Oh shit. Wait. What? Holy shit. That's the, the Strauss is the family that made the jumpers. Holy shit. That's a big thing. Oh, fuck. <laughs> All right. Back to right. it. So. <laughs> oh yes, the nobleman. <laughs> back to the guy. The nobleman, the tiny okay. little nobleman, uh, has this like a head down, uh, <laughs> one hand with some gold in it is like clenched in his face. The other one just like he's rubbing his hand on his head as he just kind of like sulks off. Hey, what? You? What are you doing down here? You, you're trying to okay. You were trying to whisper in a crowd of people as he's already walking what the, away. Hey, you! <laughs> you so, in the face! So, uh, so, <laughs> so, so guy from the crowd just was like, the fuck off! No. Fucking fancy pants! No! To some <laughs> random guy it turns it turns around is Huh? Ah. No! What do you want? Fancy pants noble boy with the glasses! Oh! He <laughs> just like <laughs> grabs by the cloak and he goes, for shit! <laughs> huh? You're good. You're fine. You're not in trouble. No, no, no. These I people just, are just gremlins. They're looking for you. Yeah. You're not in trouble. 
I just had the question. No, I just had the question. What's okay? I didn't expect you to move so rapidly. <laughs> you stepped I away you. so I quickly. don't know what's going on anymore. I just, I just want to know why you're down here. Um, this place kind of sucks for you. Business? Gift for girlfriend business? Um, <laughs> sure. You are the most suspicious person I've seen in a while. Oh, I know. I, 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 I'm you, sorry. No, I don't know who you're, you are. You're and good. This is a strange place, well, and I just I'm wanted to get a gift, and I don't know what to do. I'm Solution? We just let him be. I was just curious because, but like, there's it, been. No, what the it's fuck not, is not worth our, our time. Sinners running around and doing their shit. It's spooky. Oh. I didn't even know what's up. Don't. What sinners? Don't. You. That's a lot of knowledge you don't want to touch. <laughs> I literally look at Go him. have a wonderful you. rest of your day. Go have a get a good gift for your girlfriend and, and date. Okay. Oh, bye. <laughs> bye, Strauss boy. At least you're not missing a hand. Love Your girl would love that. Uh, no. Mirage! She, his face again goes super good red. Good. Try, try to go to a better place to get a gift, you know? Maybe one of them. Wish I could, but everything is The jumpers shut off are right shut now. down. Also, oh. you're stuck here. Uh, I'm sorry. Anyway, oh. get back. It's yeah, just about all the men alone. Leave the men alone. Get back, 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 get Chanel! He like shuffles Go. off. Ornan! I was trying to ask him a simple fucking question! There is one that interrupted you, not me. Both of you! <laughs> <laughs> this is not Wait, the time or the place. I just wanted to know! I was curious! This entire district is shut down. Yeah, but do you have any idea how fucking weird that is? Exactly. The That's fact that he's here and stuck? That's why I wanted to know. Did you see? See yes, something like that, he said when I asked about his girlfriend gift. Clearly forced out of him. Yeah, <sighs> trust me, I'm aware it's suspicious. That's why. However, we don't want to investigate nobility. We have enough fucking problems. Don't you catch a dude with me right now. Don't you fucking catch. I know you just like saved a little girl and all that shit. But we we can't be we can't be too he, He's on his high horse right now. I think God uh, should. Ornan, I swear to God, I will put you in the ground once more. Not on the cross. That's my job. So <laughs> let's find our mystery. I'm just. I'm all, yes, let's go. Let's, I don't want to be here bit, any longer than I'm I have to. I'm just a little bit tense because I'm not doing things the way that I normally would, and it's Good. making me angry actually. So, um... Welcome to the party. I'm a little itchy. Well, yeah, so. no one wants to fucking be here in the circumstances we are. Mm -hmm. The sooner we're... The sooner we get our shit done, the sooner we can leave and be so, ourselves. Let's just focus on what we've got at hand. If we want to investigate nobility, let's come back in two days. Mm -hmm. I just... When the jumpers are open. Yeah, and then he's gone. Yeah, not a problem. Okay. That's normally the kind of thing that I like to know about, but... Yep, yep, uh, tank, finding, meat skewer, people, need to get descriptions, locations. Okay, let's go. So, after this whole ordeal, um, you would realize that you are near the center of the street market, and you would see that vendor, um, a... dilapidated looking gnome with wispy light gray hair, gray skin, pointed gray like chin beard, eye patch over his left eye. Uh, he wears like tattered urchin clothing and there's just dirt smeared all over him. And he is currently cooking meat on the same type of skewers that you have. Um, and it seems to be like little rodents that he is like cooking on a skewer just I'm just like looking over it. <laughs> okay. You see like someone pass by him and he looks up and they toss him a few coins and he hands him a skewer and just goes back to looking. Quick business. Yep. Okay. Okay. 
Any just ideas? Trying to. I'm gonna be so forward. Should I just? Yeah. Fine. Okay. Why not? Uh, can I join you? Why would you do this by yourself? Alright. Let him cook. <laughs> Let the, the, there it is. <laughs> there it is. Last, the last time I ever remember that being said at, at, at this table was, was ambition. If it was an in character thing, it was just <laughs> done. <laughs> so, I was like, oh, I don't know if this is. Oh, man. Okay. For a second, my body went. <laughs> like, I was like, oh, Beer. oh god, oh god, where's that bald bitch? <laughs> Where is that red ass tiefling? Who the fuck? Motherfucker. Okay, I will stroll up to the laughter <laughs> table. Such a horrible word for a gnome, I love it. Dilapidated. He <laughs> looks up to you possible. and just... Buying food? Uh, yes. Also had a question. Uh, it's two copper. Got it. I snagged some. Uh, what, what do you got on the menu today? Yeah. <clears throat> uh. <laughs> do you remember? It, 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 it's a certain type of rat. Hold on. Uh huh. Uh huh. Remembering? You'll get there. Worth the wait. Rats. Mm. I assume from from up. Do <laughs> you remember a cardinal direction? Eastish. Well, I'll take it. Thank <laughs> you. He just hands you one. And then the question I had. Mm. Uh, maybe. Uh, oh shit! When did they? When did they take the... When did the tank get stolen? Bang! When did the tank get stolen? Um... I think he told you like a, few, a couple of days ago. Okay. Then was the meat that was chilling on the floor Bad. fresh or was it no. rot? Like r- getting kind of gross. Getting yeah, gross. Okay. Couple days old. Stale, yucky. Yeah, 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 just yeah. left in the... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and there's... Oh. Uh, a couple days ago, there may have been... Uh, a bit of different group of clientele that came to your uh, fine establishment. Yeah. It's a tiefling, mm. orc, mm. Uh, two half elves. Mm. They look quite similar. Do you Ooh. recall that? Come on now. I'm thinking. Mm-hmm. Roll a persuasion check. <laughs> <laughs> a <Somebody>? copper. <laughs> <laughs> one singular copper. <laughs> Just the one copper I have. Left. I'll tell you. Silver. Or the copper. Ring, ring, ring. Mika's making rich beyond his wildest dreams. Give him a single silver. Thirteen. Oh, I remember them. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, they came by. A uh, big looking old fella came through. He said he was looking for some food. Mm-hmm. I told him I had the best out here. Clean as two. Of you course. Do. I'm. Thank you. Thank you. Um. <clears throat> yeah. Really uh, you know, I overheard them. Talking about a few things. Uh-huh. Ooh, what kind of things? Oh, very nasty, shady business. <laughs> you want to get to know about this nasty, shady business? Of course. <laughs> so, I heard them over talking about um, some kind of bomb or explosive, mm-hmm. and, and 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 one of them was 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 saying something about um. Maybe getting a, a, a promotion, maybe, and and something about the holy gates, mm-hmm. and and something about the uh, the bomb at the holy gates. Right. Okay. Okay. Yeah. No, I think I have heard something similar, but uh, the thing is, because I've heard a couple things, you know, I've got ears all over the place. Um. I'm wanting to connect with these individuals. 
if at all possible. Oh, right, yeah. Would you happen to have heard anything other than the gates and the bomb and the promotion and the bomb at the holy gates? Do you know anything about the, where they may have ended up, where they yeah. were taking it? Yeah, you know, um, yeah, actually, they were talk, <laughs> talking about a, a place to lay low if they, you know, get into some trouble, right? Of course. And <laughs> Easy to do that here. You know, old ratty spigwig it over here. <laughs> Joking around, I told them, I told them they'll be safe in the rust yard. <laughs> <laughs> Foolish. You know, fool, of course, really? no one would ever go there. But because well, you know they're not from here. Of course, I, I don't would, know shit. I would tell. I would tell any out of towner to go there if they need to lay low, <laughs> deep in the lowest part, of the lowest bowels. <laughs> what well, a joke! <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> Oi! I give him like a pat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Good I just like, nah. walk away a little, but you can see. <laughs> <laughs> That's that's what that's what I told them to go. So uh, I haven't seen them in a few, but I heard some old, uh, you know, through the old uh, rat vine that uh, some nasty business went down, and I'm assuming it was the out of towners. So uh, they probably went over the rusty yard. But you know, if they don't got a rust runner with them, they're pretty screwed. Indeed they are. Well, you have been fascinating and enlightening. Ratty Spigwit's always fascinating. I appreciate you. And then, like, take a bite. Good shit. Always is. Top quality meats. You have a good one. Yeah. <laughs> you too. <laughs> <laughs> it was, what's his name? Ratty Spigwit. Ratty Spigwigget. I'm so glad that I yep. phonetically spelled that right. Yeah. <laughs> I did S P I G W I G G E T. Spigwigget. Sure. What a wonderful day! It's so, it's so cool. cool! What a fucking king! What a wonderful day! <laughs> Anyways, why? I felt like such a fucking idiot because I was like, I was, I was in the bathroom and I just hear, What a wonderful day! <laughs> and I'm like, hey, all by myself. <laughs> so I think I did a history check. Yes, you did. And I so, got a yeah. nat 20 plus one. Welcome back. <laughs> The Rust Yard is a junkyard where all discarded metal went to when Straz was constructing new buildings. Um, Metal-eating creatures took residence in this area, making it dangerous for most folk to enter. However, delinquents thought it'd be fun to make a game to see who could survive running through the Rust Yard. Now, it is a popular game for groups of delinquents, and it is recognized as Rust Running. And these fucking sinners are down there. Are they even alive? That's where this gnome jokingly told them to go. go. But yeah. being out of towners, he's like, I don't know. I'm just gonna tell them where the where the fuck to go. <laughs> Jeez, <laughs> they might be dead. Which would be kind of funny. Hey, I mean, fashion tree, you know. But, you know, also monsters, metal eating creatures, what the fuck? Yeah, I'm not a fan. Uh, what is metal? A lot, actually. Oh. I know nothing of the world. Uh, okay. I relay this information. <laughs> oh boy. <sighs> Yeah, so I think that is probably a problem. <laughs> Could be. Ah. <laughs> Armor. Yes. Metal weapon. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I do have metal weapon, so. Yeah. <laughs> metal. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. Well, I mean... That's a problem. Did the wrong thing. I feel like that is, you know, probably the um, best place to go, because that's where they were told to go, and they don't know shit. So I'm not arguing it, I'm just not excited. Yep. Sounds dangerous. I'm getting the all of you. Let's go. Head to the lion's den. I've got spells I can- I've got a few spells I can cast. <laughs> well, I mean, no, you can, it's just they eat metal, so, like, don't drop it. And don't hit them with it, most likely. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've dealt with this kind of thing before. Uh, they will literally permanently damage your weapon. Okay. Depending on what it is. Some of them do that. Um, and I assume that Rust So it's runners... guts and glory time. Yeah. <laughs> Like yeah, tips and tricks and and that's why he said to be screwed without a rust runner with them. Because okay, cool. So, what, do I know anybody that's in the, the rust runner scene? Hmm. Because I don't know if that's something I would have been like involved with. I don't know. I think so. I was more fisticuffs oriented, so I was. Making my name elsewhere. I mean, I've tried it like once, but like, fuck that! Like, dip down. Hey, actually, this sucks. This isn't fun. I'll leave it up to you to decide. If this is something you think Macau would do, then sure. If not, then that's fine too. This is, is in the lower bowels. Then here's a question Is there is there money to be had in Rust Rhyme? Then I think it's like gambling. Then I think my would be involved. Okay. So yeah, you would. Which stressed probably, me how the fuck out. <laughs> you probably know of a couple people. Um, you would definitely know of one delinquent. Um, would Would I know of them if I wasn't involved? But she was. She. My. Huh? What? I'm confusing. Do I have to look back at? No, I'm sending the cow stuff. Um, Surprise, lore. Do I have lore on her? I don't think so. Not much. Hold on. Hold on. We had talked about it mo- like once or twice, but. I'm seeing it now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He sees the vision. Yeah. A hundred percent. You would know of other people if you didn't want to. But yeah, she definitely would have. It's been decided. Okay. And that is. Okay. Oh, fuck. Okay, so, um. So we're definitely going down. Oh. Lower bowels area. Um. Goody. We. I know of a. Uh, an individual that was involved in rust runner shit. Yes. Uh, wasn't really my gig, so more likely able to dip into that resource reservoir. Um, so we got to make a little uh, detour before we go to the rust yard. Probably for the best. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you right now. This is serious, Macau. None of you can say fucking shit. Got it? 
I mean, I've been pretty quiet. No, I just mean you, you can't, you can't say fucking shit, okay? Not the fucking, like you can speak, but you can't say shit. I'm not following. You'll know what I mean. You'll know what I mean. Just. Um, I just won't say a fucking word. Okay. Lego. You guys travel to the lower bowels of ditch. You would come across um, bridges that extend out over this basically a massive pit in the ground um, that span that spans thousands of feet in front of you. Um, you cross over these bridges to this large, um, like fortified looking tower. Um, as you go into the tower, there's a massive spiraling staircase that goes to down, 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 down. You exit the tower and it is way darker down here. Um, there's barely any light. Uh, any light there is doesn't cover a whole bunch but you are essentially just way farther down into this canyon. Um, This place is crowded with makeshift houses. Um, If if you thought Ditch was already a seedy uh, slums, this is that times 100. It is gross. Um, You hear people coughing. The smell is even worse down here. It seems to not originate from here, but it's incredibly strong down here. Um, You can even see by the sides of like the cliff of this pit, um, there is just like garbage or trash or miscellaneous items that have been tossed aside. So like the sides of this now cliff face just have tattered cloths, um, discarded food items, um, scraps of metal. Um, And it just seems like a lot of the people here look either ready to stab you or are on some sort of drug. They look very much worse for wear. So Macau leads you into the lower bowels and just starts walking. Eventually, you would come to a house. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What does this house look like? It's kind of (laughs) shit. Like, uh, definitely fits in with the location. Um, The, like, there's a singular window on the outside that is, it has very obviously been cracked and shattered and broken and replaced several times. Uh, but there's just so much damage on the outside of the window from like people getting into fights and like throwing something at the window, just like random shit that uh, eventually they just started kind of putting like a non-fitting piece of glass there and just ed- hearing it somehow or holding it up. Um, and the, the front door definitely seems a little too large and just has never been cut down. So there's uh, a lot of like chipped wood on the bottom of the door from like opening it, it just like <laughs> against the ground all the time. Mm-hmm. Um, the roof is like sunk into the point where you're like, how's that still up? <laughs> like, how is that there? Um, it just, it just kind of looks like shit. Big time shit house, but um, yeah. Okay. Let me make sure I have the right thing for this. Not shed small, but definitely not house size. Is it a shack? Yeah, it's like a it's like a sheep little a sheep, <laughs> little sh- shack. A she- sh- sh- little shit shack. The <laughs> shit. Sh- Come on, tell me that the shit shack burner. <laughs> <laughs> Come on down, we got the shit shat burger. Shit shack burger. <laughs> down. We got the shit sh- 
Shaq. Burger. Okay. So, you walk over to this house. What are you doing, Mikhail? Uh, I'm going to walk up to the door very mm. casually. Just like, okay, I'm walking up to the door like I normally would. And then I like stop. I turn around. Oh. Fucking board! Speaking to you, <laughs> turn back around. Yep. Who is it? Open the door, find out. The door like creaks open. You see someone's eye, very familiar to you. Who would come knock on shit? The door opens up, and how would you describe your sister standing in the doorway? Uh, let me double, I don't want to miss me because I get two people, I don't know who you thought, let me double check. <laughs> Correct. Okay, so she is a, she's a gray tiefling, um, taller than a cow, because she's a bitch. Um, <laughs> hater um seems older than him uh she has uh black hair that is uh kind you can it's uh, <laughs> what the what was that about it's in like a high ponytail with like little side pieces and bangs uh and she has like an undercut that has little like arches like pointed almost like like mountains like crudely drawn mountains by like a kid or whatever but like little points that are shaven into it um she has a few piercings but she does not rival the cow on that front um and she has uh kind of soft purplish pinkish eyes like he does but they're a little bit more muted than his um she's a little bit more muscularly built than he is um he's all he's been the more lean of the two and so she's got a bit more bulk to her um and she exudes an aura of what did you just say like <laughs> that is the aura she gives is pardon like <laughs> so like who are you speaking to who the fuck are you talking to right now is her immediate vibe but yeah okay so as she opens the door fully and like gazes down upon you. <laughs> you take 14 points of bludgeoning damage. Oh. With the first hit. Yeah! <laughs> Even immediately following the sucker punch, she, how do you react after she just like. I just kind of let it happen. And I just stumble backwards. She takes two steps forward okay. before like putting oh. a hand on your shoulder and yep. then just bring her bring left it. hand and go. Oh, fuck. Uh, you take another seven points of bludgeoning damage. Look at the single digits. And then after that, she just like. Uh. Fucking. Asshole. She just like spits right beside you. <laughs> she looks to the rest of you and then. Don't do not. Just um. <laughs> uh, gripping the quarterstaff tightly, fuck. you know. <laughs> Arrow. This. I have oh. a little bit of a on my face. Like, I was on the strip, so I met Dara. She's like, yeah, all right. This was expected. <gasps> You've been lifting. What do you want? Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, well, you know, <laughs> back in town, back home. Um... And, uh, you know, shit's been crazy, so we're on a, um, a goose hunt at the moment. Um, 
that have you uh, have you heard anything about the sinners of absolution that are fucking shit up around town? Or um, big boy short man upstairs? Stras. No. Okay. I don't um, go sticking my nose in places it doesn't belong. Mm-hmm, Macau. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, you did not do that. Um. Well, uh, they stole some shit from him. We were involved with that group beforehand. It's become a whole clusterfuck at this point. And um, basically, they might be in the rust yard. And you know, you've got knowledge and you've got skill and you're better at that stuff than I am. So figured that the best person to ask would be you. <laughs> Uh, it's doing well. Oh, yeah. Has <laughs> Why do you do this? Would an apology make you feel better? Because that's not my style, but I'll do it. What? I'll apologize. If that uh, if that sweetens the pot. What the fuck is this? Can you be more specific? She like grabs your head and turns you to the rest of the group. Mm-hmm. What, my bodies? Do you finally get some thugs on your side? <laughs> no. No, 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 no. Um, definitely not thugs. Uh, that's Mirage. That's Dara. And that's Ornan. I really hope you're not sticking around so I would actually remember those names. Uh, they are the closest thing to what I think you would call friends. So they've, you know, helped me not die, which is cool. You haven't come back ever since the incident, correct? Mm Mm-mm. So she looks down at your leg. Fucked up real bad, so deserved fully. Why don't you tell everyone how long it's been? Hmm. Ten Let's hear it out loud. Change. Ten years and some change. He abandoned his only family. We're struggling. Just left. You think you're his friends? He sees you as friends? He will leave you the moment he sees something bigger or better. Right? Have you been getting my mail? Were you signing the mail? No. That's what I thought. It was usually like accompanied by a very short letter, like like a post-it note, mm-hmm. basically, of just like, hope things are good, hope you're doing well, like, fix the window, like <laughs> stupid shit like that. Paint the door for God's sake. Stupid stuff like that. I know they stopped for a while. That's because I was in shape. And hmm. then uh, ended up with Fancy Pants McHandsome McGee over there, and I gesture over to Ambrose. And he's uh, keeping my shit cool, as they say. Did they say that? I don't know. Ten years. Mm-hmm. And you show up out of the blue, asking for help. You come asking us 
for help. Do you know how hard it was to show up? Do you know how hard it was for us to live here? Struggling? Not knowing where you went? Our family's already broken as it is. Yeah, I tried, I tried sending money when I could, when I was. Oh yeah, thanks. You know where we live? You know where most of that actually went? We only received a few. I sent big amounts at first. Look around you. Look where we live. Yeah. You think all of that mail got delivered here? Especially when there's money in it? No. Yeah. That's why I kept doing it though. Well, lucky for whoever found it before us. Hmm. I don't want to see your faces anymore. There's a man not too far from here. They call him Cole. Big guy. Long curly black hair. Big black beard. Usually he's got dirt smudged on his face. Or is that stupid black cape of his? He'll help you out. Okay. Things did not go according to plan. So. What plan? What plan do you ever have? You never think. You just did. Do we do we have to do this in front of them? Do we have to do this right now? Because we're both adults. You sure don't act like one, Macau. Neither do you. You open the door and the first thing you do when you have a fucking emotion is beat the fuck out of me? Um, are both your parents still alive? I Okay. <laughs> Just wondering before I, she said anything. I hope so. <laughs> Maybe it's better off you just didn't come back and I thought you were dead. At least I wouldn't have had to worry anymore, at least. But I'm glad you're doing good. Glad you're out there working for Straz Yank himself. I was. Um, big money. Was. Mm. The only reason that I'm doing this now and that I had to drag them into it is because it's Straz. And of course, uh, he's got good information that would probably help us out with what we're up to. And so we have to wade through the muck a little bit in order to get away from it. I don't want to deal with his tiny ass. I want to squash him like a bug really badly, actually. But I can't do that. So he's uh, got my ass on a proverbial leash and has for a very long time. And now I'm on another one. One that, you know, doesn't manipulate the fuck out of me and, uh, you know, maybe do shit, but. So I'm not. What else do you want me to say? What else do you expect me to say? I don't know. I was just kind of hoping that maybe it wouldn't sound us off with cold. You want me to be your personal guide? Is that it? You want me to tag along with your t friends? That would have been nice, but 
Sure. You know, sure. Why not? And she turns around and <laughs> slams the door shut and just starts marching off. Let's go on an adventure. Yippee. You hear her start like mumbling to herself like very angrily. She walks in a straight line, so if there was anyone there, she immediately like shoulder checks them and keeps going. You can speak. I wasn't okay. I got nothing to say on this one. <laughs> that was just a bit intense. Yo, Are you physically okay? You got the little... We'll thing. come back to that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> just gonna take out a little cloth and just go and clean your nose. Yeah, I was about it's to It's all say. fucked. <laughs> Mike, can you slow the fuck down? Thank you. I have a disability now! Fuck! <laughs> oh, I guess. Ironically, you're probably faster than I'm probably. <laughs> <laughs> he, he's playing it up a little yeah, bit. Yeah, no, uh, um, absolutely. That's why I, Dara's not saying shit. <laughs> Neither is Ornan. I'm like, <sighs> siblings, am I right? So fun. I would know. I hope Sophie is doing good. <laughs> what different reunions, am I right? Yeah. yeah. That whole time you were like, I'm so nervous about seeing this. Is wrong. I was like, I wonder what would happen. <laughs> <laughs> and then in the back of my mind, I'm like, you oh, know, she beat the shit out of me. <laughs> and, then like, and then she did. Here we are. She beat me down to nine hit points. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she beat the fuck out of me. Carla. <laughs> I love her so much. Her first roll was a critical hit against you. <laughs> oh, that'll do it. That's a lot that'll of. That'll do it. Don't kill that'll do it. That's a lot of pent up rage. Yeah, that's right. That's uh, almost 11 years of Angie. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So. I love the yip yap yep. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yep. Uh, yip yap yep. So, uh. Oh, I got no comments. Taking her lead or. Yep. I guess so. Cool, let's she go. No shit. I ain't saying shit. She was about 10 years. It's the fucking same thing. God damn it. Her name fucking is Maya, by the way. Don't, don't call her that. Don't. I'm not even don't. gonna refer. You're gonna crack the fuck up. Because this was the accident. Her name is Mikan. <laughs> and like, so it was a whoopsie doopsie, and her name is Mikan, and we have a friend named Mikan. And, and it was in the early stages of befriending Mikan that I was like, what's my sister's name? And I started like putting different syllabic sounds because together. Like, we, we like, for the long time, we'd call him Lay. So yeah, we were like, Lay. We're like, what the fuck is your. We literally had to go, what the name? fuck is your name? Yep. And so I was like, Mike, and it was spelled the same way and everything. And I was like, oops. Oops. Very funny, ha ha. But yeah, do not call the flesh. Blow the fuck up. That's my thing. Ha! Sorry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, Mike and would lead you over to the entrance of the rust yard, which is literally just a run- junkyard full of rusted metal. Not even getting paid for going into here anymore. You're not? What happened? Nothing. And you're certainly not paying me to go back in. No, because I keep sending you all my fucking money. I can. Mm. There we go. That'd be lovely. Why don't you all pitch in? Hmm? Looks like you're better off than I am. Hmm? So come on. I can definitely I'm helping you all. all. I'm not doing it for free. What's the rate? You don't ask that question, then, bitch. Well, he certainly did. We get the family One, two, now? three. No. Four, five. Ten gold each. Well, that's about as much as I was going to give you, so I can definitely part with that on my front. You want me to cover your son, Dara? No, I can cover it. You sure? Probably. I'm gonna pay for you anyways, so I <laughs> hand her 20 gold. 
keep you just uh, think of it as investment or something pertaining to get doing Come on, Dude, shush. On you and your boyfriend, too. Ambrose as well reluctantly comes over and hands him ten gold. Shh, shh. Rich fucking assholes. She, like, pockets the gold. It took a lot of fucking work to get that to actually do the thing. Yeah. You do not fucking okay. shut the fuck <sighs> Okay. There's a lot of creatures in here. They're like bugs, almost. Eat through any metal with ease. Make too much noise, and the swarm will come out to get you. Now, individually, they're not bad, but when they group up and they swarm, they can kill you. But you look all pretty tough. Except for you. Maybe... That one with the fancy outfit. The best of you might make it. No. Probably won't. Shit. I don't know, big boy, Damn. can you run fast? No. Eh. You might lose one of your friends. Willing to do that? I For whatever job this is? I can slow down. <laughs> Say goodbye to whatever limbs you have, big boy. Good talk, fuckface. <laughs> you didn't get here in ditch. Okay. Before we get started, <sighs> you injured one. Channel divinity, preserve life, 15 HP. Dang. Wow. Magic boy. Mm hmm. Yeah. <laughs> what do you need? Nothing, just, uh. Love what you got there. What'd you do? <laughs> you like the no weather play. <laughs> what did you like the no weather boy? What do you yeah. like the no weather boy? <laughs> oh my god. Alright, you're really getting it today. Sick of the fucking hair. It's like the fourth time. Simply put, I lost my way. And I put my faith in the wrong places. <laughs> I think that's all you need to know. Really? You know how the rules are down here. And you do? I'm picking up a thing or two. She spent enough time with me. Can you ease off? You're mad at me. I can be mad at whoever the fuck I choose to be mad at. That's what I thought. And she like stands up and kind of like chest out, just kind of like walks up to you and like le leans over you and just... I just did fucking... We were always too soft anyways. And she just kind of like, with both her fingers just on her forehead, just... Jingle, jingle, jingle. <laughs> <laughs> what about that one? Pretty quiet over there for a tough guy. Mm. Not one for words. Really nothing going on up in there. A little too thick for you to, you know, comprehend the common language. Not really. I just don't like your attitude, he and I'm speaks. trying to uh, wow. better myself just a little bit. But uh, your personality is really uh, stinking up this place. So uh, he has nothing to do with your problems. You're fifty gold richer, and you have your brother back. How about we start <laughs> taking some steps? I've got about the hundred and fifty people that I want to get back. So. 
On 200. Boo hoo. She starts walking into the rust yard. She turns back around and just. Shh. You step where I step, or I'll make sure that one of you runs slower than the rest of us. Capiche. Let's go find whatever the fuck you're looking for. She begins walking in. So, you all can make stealth checks. <laughs> Disadvantage at negative one. I'm behind. Restore balance. N- no, I'm gonna stick in the back. You're doing okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. If something happens. Bail. I can go back <laughs> for one. <laughs> Yeah, and two, fail. I'll be trapped in the fuckers. No, I just worry about you being on the tail end, getting it, fucked up. If I die, I die. I'm doing it for 14? 17? We'll there was a nat 20 in there. And then? Four! <laughs> <laughs> He's a little rattled today. If you ever need me to get rid of that disadvantage, and, and, and by rattled we mean that 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 was a six Wait, on the die. Did you do? What did you do to him? No, I think he. I, think he I, I, I to, denied it. I don't yeah. want it. Oh, okay. I was gonna do a uh, restore balance. I was like, really? I wrote that down for him and yeah. everything so that he would like remember. I, I haven't used it since like second session. It's been a second. I am it's like, purposely so trying. To make sure they can get ahead at this point. Okay. Because I know there's no way in hell I'm making it through this yard. Okay. Yeah. I have metal. I'm slow. And no. I also have metal. My leg! My leg is made of metal! But you're fine. <laughs> and my gloves are made of metal. What were the rolls here? 12. Okay. 17. Okay. 4. 14. Okay. As Mikan is leading you through the rust yard, um, as she's like carefully stepping, at one point she like steps and the ground gives way underneath one of her legs and she just goes, and you um, hear like a bit of like cloth going like into the hole and it pulls a sheet of metal just down. She goes, and she like turns around and looks at all of you. And um, Mirage, as you hear, or no, Dara, I'm sorry. As you mm-hmm. hear all of this as well, um, you're walking along and not paying attention to like where your footing is. And you step on another piece of metal that goes up and hits another one and just <clears throat> So the person in front of you and the person in back made the most noise. And so, all of a sudden, you guys all go quiet, just listening out. All of you are dead still. Get ready to run. Over one of the like um, hills or little mounds of rusted metal, you see this ant-like creature, like crest over big black bulbous eyes, um, uh, long antennas, and it has these pins, like multi-tiered pincers. Ooh. And at the center of its mouth, it looks like it has, um, God, like almost like vertical mandibles, but there's like, uh, how do I describe it? You know the machines that like constantly rotate with like the yeah. teeth? It's exactly that as its mouth. Mm-hmm. So as it like peers over, it's like, and you see it like rotating. Um, like crush her mouth. Mm-hmm. And one comes over, and these are like dog size, little little smaller than dog size. Um, and another one, and another Ooh. one. And then a whole bunch start peering out from different like places of like metal and they come like around the corners and everything. And that's where we're gonna end this session. Oh, yeah. Well, shit. Shut the 
Alfredo. And so, the Rift Seekers make their way through the city and into the lower bowels, the lowest point in Ditch, where the worst of the worst call home. Led by Macau's sister, Mikan, they began to sneak their way through the rust yard. Though they didn't make it far, before both Mikan and Dara caused quite a disturbance. Well, that's all I have for you today. If you want more, why not consider joining our Discord? There you can talk to the players of the campaign and be a part of our lovely community. Thank you again for listening, dear friend, and goodbye for now.